Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is the Dr. Green Thumb Show right here on YouTube, Twitch, and Discord. I am Be Real, a.k.a. Dr. Green Thumb. Welcome to it. To my right, Mr. Goodlight, C-. minus. Happy Friday. What's happening, bro? What up? Chilling. I am. To his right, special guest, my man Baltazar Getty up in the house. Shabbat shalom. <laughs> Why you got glasses Malone right there as this triple third, man? What? Who? <laughs> oh, is that Julio G right now? Now it's Julio G. No, this is Baltazar Getty, man. How you guys doing? It's having it. What's up, man? What up, man? Be real. My guy, good to be here. Good to have you here, and that is a dope shirt. Yes, sir. I've been getting a lot of love, man. Uh, I got this a couple days ago. My wife actually got it for me, and it's been a real, that was a a real good, talking piece. That was a good catch right there. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? a real oh, talking piece. Word up. Up in the treehouse, Bolton Blombo, bra, bra, and... The Dominator. Bacon and B, what's going on? Chilling. Being Bool. Uh, in the nest, the iconic one, Eric Big Drum Bobo. Eat, mofos. Like what a ninja. Good. There you are. Bada bing. He's here. Right here. Stealth like he shows up. Word up. And it's a strong Friday. What's up, the everybody? Strong ones. Happy Friday. Steph Tone. <laughs> Word up. And the Concentrate King, Cali Blaze. Happy and the Friday. <laughs> squeeze off. Crap. Welcome, guys, and welcome, my man, Baltazar Getty, man. Hey, look, we've known each other a long time. It's good to finally have you here, man. I know. I, I really appreciate it. We've, I mean, we got, we got stories. We've, we've got some exclusives for, for your <coughs> listeners uh, today, Be Real. Yes, sir. We go way back, man, when we were young bucks. That's right. That's You're slightly right. a younger buck than I was, but yes. Yeah, but pretty much, you know, same... Same genre, same same generation. Yeah, but I was a little bit younger than you guys, and you know, you guys were and still are the like the sick ass, you know, older brother who's fucking killing it, and you're just in, you know, in awe of. So it's a real living legend. Be real. I, I used to see, um, I used to see you at the hip hop spots, and uh, you know, that was always good to see. You know, like. Motherfuckers appreciating hip hop like from everywhere. Ah, see, I did it. <laughs> Damn. So wait, one curse word. Yeah, you need a ringer. You already cursed. Yeah, you already did. But I wait, no, no, no. But somebody was taking mine. Right. Remember? You need yeah. a ringer. <laughs> Whoever right. you choose could be uh, your ringer. <laughs> you right, there you go. Well, so yeah, there you go. Yeah. You're his ringer. All right. I mean, all right. I'm gonna yeah. take my shot. I'm gonna <laughs> forego the flips until <laughs> my next um, mishap. But yeah, it was great seeing you at the. At, you know, at the hip hop spots, man, and some of the other cats that, you know, came up. Yeah. In the, in the entertainment industry. Of yeah, yeah. It was a few of us kind of actors that, you know, were also kind of in, in the music scene as well. And yeah. it was like, I was really close with, 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 with Everlast, with yeah. Eric. And, um, and, and of course, Muggs, and then you. And we've actually even done movies together. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, do you remember that MacArthur yeah, Park? Yeah, yeah, MacArthur Park. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, we're both in that. It was that. a true story. This yeah, is MacArthur Park thing is uh, the Billy Worth. Billy Worth. Yeah, salute to Billy Worth, man. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's right. Yeah, and I was yeah I was you know because I'm a producer and and I make beats and do all that and so I was always there with, you know, um, with Lior like Lior you know, yeah, yeah. DJ Lethal. yeah yeah the first. Uh, House of Pain album, and uh, yeah, funny little side note, I thought, I think you know, Muggs knows, but I'm one of the guys yelling jump 
on yeah. uh, Jump oh. Around. Oh, you're in the car? Yeah, yeah. yeah dude. Right on. We were all in the studio, and me and, and, and Danny and whoever was in there, we went in to, like, double up those vocals or whatever. Legend. It's, yeah. Yes. This is kind of a cool, like, I've done movies. I've done a lot. I've had a lot of success here and there, but... To say that I'm the voice, one of the voices on Jump. Hey, t- <laughs> let, let me give you this on that, right? Um, Cypress Hill, we play that song at the end of our set these days, you know what I mean? In tribute to our bros and right. the song and Muggs produced it and all right. that stuff, right? And what I've noticed in playing it all across the world in two groups, right? Because we were using it with uh, Prophets of Rage as well. It is the biggest blow up song in hip hop history if you want to ignite a spot that is the song percent. that will ignite the spot and look you're on it every age it's been steady doing it since yeah. it's release yeah. since yeah. it's released to this day <laughs> yeah to this day we do this thing um where we make people like <laughs> like we're ending the show we'll tell them hey we want everybody to get in the squat position we're going to do this thing together and when you hear this song you'll know exactly what yeah, yeah. What's cracking, right? Yeah, yeah. And boom, it'll come on. That intro, bro. Yeah. It, it, that giveaway, yeah, they're yeah. ready. They're ready to yeah. go. And I tell you, an explosion happens. Yeah. And it's anywhere in the world. Yeah. At any given you can't play that song in the middle of your set or you're screwed. You got you gotta yeah. play that at the very end. But you guys got a few of those too. We got you know plenty. I mean? We got plenty of them. Yeah. But but really. But yeah, like about that one massive record that it's, that translated to, you know, every country, you know, every wave, old oh, school, yeah. new school. It doesn't. You can drop that. Bunch of now. movies, um, sporting events. You hear it everywhere, and it 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 gets that pop. Brass yeah. Monkey does that too. Brass yeah. Monkey, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. And then and then um and then also uh uh oh, oh yeah, Scotty Khan and Scotty and, Khan, uh, yeah. and 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 Al. That's right. Hooligans. You remember? The Hooligans. Yeah, Hooligans. so I actually saw they opened up for you guys. I saw Cypress Hill at, in Brixton. Yeah, that's right. And they killed Sick it. Sick ass show. It was man. a good it was a great show. Hey, look, I'll tell you what. They opened up uh the Soul Assassin tour. Yeah. Right? They were the first group to you know, open up the show every night. And what was crazy about that was that all the all the fans were coming to the shows early. And uh so you know how it is. Normally openers, man, they're 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 performing to a, a spotty crowd because yeah. not everybody has come in yet. Right. Right. But the hooligans, <laughs> they were fortunate in the fact that, you know, our, our crowd showed up early. It was House of Pain in Cypress Hill. <coughs> Boom, everybody was getting right. there early try, yeah. to try to get a good spot, right? Yeah. So when when they got out there, it was packed for them. Yeah. All they had to do was go out and rock. Yeah, you laid it up. And they <coughs> and they and they rocked it. Those two little dudes yeah. rocked it. Yeah. Yeah, man. You know, with with not that much experience. They were watching watching what House of Pain and Funk Dubious and, and what we were doing, and yeah. they were just learning as they went along, and we're knocking it down. It was awesome. They to still see. had great. Yeah, uh, I, I mean, I, I. That's right, Bobo. What yeah. were you going to say, Bobo? Yeah, I said they still had great stage presence, even though they were new, uh, so to speak, but they were killing it. I mean, the crowd loved them, man. Yeah, the crowd loved them. I didn't love that shot right now. <laughs> <laughs> it, it hits a little different this time of day, right? Yeah, right now, yeah. Yeah. That tour was so monumental. Like I said before, I've, you know, we talked about it on the show before. Like that was the first hip hop show I ever saw moshing at. You know what I mean? Like Soul Assassin tour. Yeah, the Soul Assassin tour. I saw it at the Roseland in New York. Me and That's Mr. When Chuck. Cypress started bringing and and that you guys started bringing that real live show. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Where it was like it was a full live show. It was almost like early. Uh, you know, really adopting more of a rock sound for for yeah. that. Or that rock attitude, let's the say. Attitude. The attitude. Absolutely, because sure. we were moshing on stage even. We'd yeah. pull people up and we'd just go ahead and start Well, you know. Dude. What what we could do without, yeah. you know, killing each other and knocking each other to a 20-foot drop. You know what I'm saying? What were you going to say, Steph? Um, I don't remember. Yeah, we're hot. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I yeah. remember the energy of just going from Funk Dubious to House of Pain to you guys. It was at that point when you guys went on, it was Boom, roof gone. Uh, it it was a fun tour, man. Yeah, that, that was a crazy 
It's, it's a crazy crew. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. We rolled real deep yeah. back then. Yeah, yeah. That, that was that, that was, was something unique, you know. I used to tell people that, like, that all of our crews used to like move together places. Like, we'd just be rolling as a squad. There'd be like thirty of us. If anybody got out of line, it was too bad for them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is true. Because we had a bunch of wild, wild. <coughs> Wow, yeah. dudes with us. Yeah, but man. everybody, it was, but it was all quality, you know. All quality, yes. This is the truth, yes. I feel like you guys should still do regular tours with the full band when I mean, you had the whole band. I'm not, I, you, I'm not against that. Like that shit. Oh, oh yep. there you go. Hey, damn. Would you got like him. some mezcal? Sure. All right. Um, Happy birth month. That, Happy birth yeah, month. that's right. Oh, Happy God. birth yeah, month, birth bro. Month, dude. This Happy is my month. gift to you, some mezcal, right? Here. Hey, man. Yes, thank you. <laughs> You're what, a week into it now, right? Oh, man, we're deep. Yeah, yeah <laughs> birth month. He's a week deep. <laughs> Happy <laughs> birth month to Steph Toe. <laughs> All right, well, what were you saying, Steph, or did you forget again? No, I was saying that, you know, like I said, I really, I really love the sound of the band. When you guys play with the band, the songs, they're all great. I mean, no, I'm not even trying to say that, like, you know, the others aren't stacked up against it, but like that energy is yeah. so, so just bumping. You just can't help but move to that. Yeah, with the right band again. It's, it's, but you it's, know what's it's, weird with me? Sorry to interrupt, B. No, no, not at all. Um, is I don't like it if it's too much of a band. Then it becomes un hip hop to me. Like, I like like a DJ and a drummer and a guitar guy or something, but I, for whatever reason, I never liked like that full. A band where I'm not getting any of the record at I, all. I you think, know, no I think, samples, no like. To me, I think the Fugees and the Roots got it right with the full band. Right. Right? Where they had every piece. They had. <clears throat> but it's a different style, though, I think, that what Steph's talking about, because there was like the music that we made that was specifically that hybrid, right? Where it's, yeah. it's rock or metal yeah. with, with hip hop. But I'm saying if you're going to recreate stuff, because we did on that, on one of those tours it was after the soul assassins tour but we we took some of the like songs like cock the hammer and we ain't going out like yeah that, yeah and did like rock versions and did rock versions yeah. and they those were sick. dope those were really fucking gnarly yeah. oh, i love yeah, doing them yeah 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 oh yeah. you you clipped me again thank got you very em. much oh, i got one through the heart <laughs> <laughs> Shot through the now, i'll take flips for the next okay. one i'll take flip for the next one. um anyway yeah you know but I think in terms of what you're talking about, I think the Roots and in, in, um, in, uh, the Fugees had Definitely. it right in terms of how they rocked their full band, right? Because they had all the pieces, but they, they, they never played it. Um, they never did a hybrid. It was more hip-hop orientated. What, what were you yeah, uh, one of the best uh, uses of a DJ I ever saw that uh, live was Outkast. Outkast had the DJ as front and center, and then had a bass player and a guitar player, right, right. and maybe a couple background I like that vocals. Fall in under the DJ. Yes, you know I mean. So yeah, I get what you're saying. Sometimes, yeah. sometimes yeah, when yeah, it's sometimes not, I'm like, that's nah, just corny. I don't actually like. I don't want to get rid it's of the like DJ. Jazz band that got playing their records. But yeah. it's also like what you're saying. You know, when you don't hear that's the sample, you guys, obviously. when you don't hear the sample, then it becomes less hip hop that way what yeah. you're saying is like it becomes less the if record it, if it overwhelms the sample then yeah. it's not suddenly it just yeah it just feels like adult contemporary <laughs> but, but, you know <laughs> yeah, <laughs> totally yeah totally yeah like i I'm definitely don't want that. i definitely don't want to lose the samples in it you know i just there's just an extra energy with, absolutely with live instruments 100. yeah for sure i think most of that you know, the back drums. in the sample yeah 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 oh, for sure the drums are are always important yeah. oh man that's the backbone, baby. Yeah. Hey, hey Bo Bizzle. Uh, I love the way Bo Bizzle, like when you go to a Cypress show and you hear Bo Bizzle on them drums behind the sample. That's yeah. right. Man. It he works. Had, I actually prefer that, like, he had something smaller different. setup. Dude, it's know? locked in as locked in can be. So salute Bo Bizzle on that. Man, you just got to lock it in and blend it in. You know that's, what I mean? Not try to do too, too much, but just enough that, it, you know, it creates that power and that presence. Yeah, it gets you know that swing. It gets oh, that, that swing, swing on. Our, our brother Everlast had a good combination of band and DJ. Yes. He had a keyboard player, drummer, and him playing guitar. I don't think I saw that iteration. Oh, I only saw the early stuff so like, dope. opening up for you. Yeah, so dope. Like, I mean, he his skill set now is on some craziness, man. Um, salute to, to our bro Everlast. Yeah, one yeah. of the best. He's going to be down here soon. Hell yeah. He's been wanting to uh, pick a day to come down and 
be a yeah, part of me the show and, and we were we were especially at that time we were hanging out a lot. Yeah. You know, yeah, 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 because because he introduced us. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. yeah, for for whatever reason, yeah, like me, him, and Corky, we kind of clicked, and like, yeah, we just and Lethal, and like, yeah, those guys. Dude. Right when they right when they got the deal, yeah, it's crazy. Okay, so dope. Dope. good, man. And, and then and then the movies hit for you. You start. You you've been in cult classics. Yeah, yeah. How about oh, that? Yeah. Salute. Cult I mean, classics is right. Cult yeah, yeah. classics for Natural real. Natural born killers. Yeah. Lost yes. highway. Yeah. Oh, yes. Where the day takes you. Uh, when you got those, bro, we were like cheerleaders when we saw y'all. Where the flies, yeah. Young, Young guns. guns. Yeah, yeah. Bunch of stuff. Yeah, I mean, I've been I've been super lucky. Yeah, I mean, it all started with Lord of the Flies. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I was just a kid in school, and I, and I ended up getting picked. What was that, like 91 or something like that? No, no, that was earlier. That it, was I 90. did it in 88. Oh, wow. Yeah, 88. yeah I yeah. was 12, 13. It came out in, like... It came out end of 88, 89 oh, wow. or something like yeah. that. And uh that that was a like that was a pretty mean cast right there too, yeah. like when you think about it. Yeah, stars. yeah, man. Yeah. So that that was one of those weird right place, right time, a yeah. little bit of luck, some talent, I'd like to think. Yeah. <laughs> um Absolutely. Yeah, and it yeah, and it, it it uh it launched. I mean, I basically it wasn't until sort of the last five years that I've transitioned more into producing and, and yeah. focusing more on my music. Because and, music was the first love for you. Yeah, right? yeah. I mean, music's always been like my mistress in a way, you know? Yeah. And uh, and the acting was my day job. And it yeah. was, you know, how that, I paid the bills and everything. Sorry, yeah, how like, I paid the bills. Yeah, like Scotty, you know, he loved music first. He didn't really want to do acting. But he, you know, he found later that he was really good at it. But he, his passion was music. Yes, a lot Scott Con for uh, like a lot of y'all in that time. Like I remember, man. Like uh, like uh, what's his name? Um, don't know why I'm blanking on the name right now because we used from to, back Brian, then. What like David yes, Arquette? Brian Brian Austin Green. Yeah, yeah. Brian. Yeah, oh, yeah. Wow, that another. Right. Yeah, yeah. Just watch I mean, your swear words. Did I did? Did no. I do it again? No, I'm just giving oh, you a reminder. Yeah, yeah, thank you, man, because I almost <laughs> flew one out right there. I almost felt that one. Oh, almost threw a chop right there. Um, but yeah, I mean, but I love that about you guys. That like that was like a passion that you guys had. Like you loved hip hop that much because it wasn't just that you guys were into music and you know doing all this different stuff you guys were like into hip-hop I mean, yeah uh, faustino got into yeah, throwing, yeah yeah throwing, yeah, uh, yeah events yeah. and stuff yeah, over yeah. um at the whiskey yeah we were like we were the original like white boy hip-hop kids you know yeah. in la yeah arquette was down yeah, there oh, yeah. too yeah yeah <laughs> always oh, yeah um no it was i mean and, and we're all still still close you know yeah. what i mean like of course life gets busy and you have kids and you have your own family and everything but that's that's still family right there yeah you know what i mean like anytime anywhere connected thing and now you're doing music now right yeah i just um so i mean i've always been producing like i even some of my early like just samples and stuff was i did something on the house of pain record and i did something with with funk dubious and i've been on my sp 1200 for you know 25 years at least and um you know always you know, I had, and then about ten years ago, I had a band called Ringside. I don't know if you remember Ringside. Yeah, yeah, we were signed to Interscope and and had a couple big records, and that was like an electro kind of rock duo. And then about five years ago, I started my label. So I have a label called Purple House. Um, yeah, WAP. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> boom, boom, bang. Yeah, and and I just sort of started focusing. Um, I put out a project called Abstracto, which is me and As Drew Sierra from Ozo Motley did a whole like dub kind yeah. of all in Spanish, uh, like my my tribute to like the Buena Vista Social Club. Yeah. Uh, awesome album. Type of thing. So yeah. that's out. Um, and then I have a few artists that I produce. And uh, um, yeah, so, but uh, I just put out a solo album. So I've always been the guy in the back more pressing the buttons and and at this advanced stage in my career, I thought, I'm going to start singing and rapping now. Why not? <laughs> it's never too late. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I put out a project called Sad Boy about six months ago. That's like, um, 
uh, beats and kind of emo type of vocals. I'm, I'm not sure how to fully describe it. I know, man. Bad yeah. boy. Yes, yeah, so sad. Boy. Yeah, it's very Walt, sad. Walt Getty, sad boy. Yeah, <laughs> it's okay. melancholy. <laughs> yeah, I sent you. Uh, no, it's just it just taps. You know how we all have that in us, that kind of like teenage angsty like emotional person in yeah. us you know like it never goes away it, yeah it's I don't right. think it ever goes away <laughs> nah. you, just, you, know. you, you just grow up and yeah you learn so how it's to kind deal of it. it's kind of just a nod to to that you know what i mean um Dope. and yeah it's a conceptual album so i created all sorts of artwork along with it and auxiliary pieces and they're all on youtube and you know everything's under balt getty you get it you put any collabs on that with well, so I just did um, I just did two EPs in the last six months. I did one with Chino XL. Oh man, it's called yeah. Chino versus Balt, the we, Bar Master. Yeah, you yeah, guys yeah. definitely got to check that out. The single was called Ethiopia. I directed a, a crazy video, something I'm really proud of. And then I just put out an EP with OT the Real, uh, called uh, Yeah OT versus Balt. You guys know about OT? Nope. No. No, I got to check them out. Interesting, yeah. yeah. White boy rapper from uh, from Philly. Oh, really? Who's really making a lot okay. of noise? Yeah, but like nope. he just put out an album with Static Selector, and he, okay. Jada Kiss like co-signed him, and and he's. Oh, uh, I gotta check him out, man. Yeah, so we did four songs, so that's out too. Uh, Ot versus Balt. So those were sort of the collabs. The Sad Boy was really to do something on my own. Yeah, it's just, it's just me. Dope. I did all the recording get, and, and get the, the vocals and get your creativity flow going. Exactly. And I mean, you know, hey, look, when when you love to do music, man, you got to have the outlet, and because it, it eats you up if you don't put it out there. Yeah, I mean, man, like the yeah. ideas, right? Yeah, but this isn't just you know. I mean, I really believe in the music I do. It's not just like, oh, I have to get out my musical. Um, Whatever you know, what I mean, right. I feel like I have something to offer. Right. Hell yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's what music is, though, right? Yeah. It's something to 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 offer people to like, either inspire them, make a move, some sort of, you know, some emotion. sort of impact. Yeah, yeah some sort yeah, of something. emotion. Are you still using the SP, or are you uh, yeah, graduated hey, hey. to something else? Hey, how, how are you? I guess I, where are you doing? He's, up, <laughs> I'm he's up in the nest. He's on he's probation. Like, where's his voice coming yeah, from? Good, yeah, good to see you. Good to meet you. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm st yeah, so everything starts with the SP, and then I'm in Pro Tools, and I just sort of build upon it, and I use, you know, I have a machine. I have the SP-1200 keyboards, you know, DJ setup. and But, yeah, like, Almost everything starts on the SP for me. Um, Dope. But then I build it out. I mean, I, I'll bring in live live musicians and chop up samples and do all of that. Something's going on across from me. I'm not sure. Uh, <laughs> oh boy, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, Steph, Steph is prepping. Um, yeah. Something special. Here. <laughs> it's happening. Wow. Um, tell them what you're prepping, Steph. I'm just uh, I put a little sauce on the outside of this as a little adhesive for this <laughs> extra bit of weed I have grinded up here. <laughs> Dude. Yeah, baby. He mixes yeah. it up, you know. That's a strong, it's a very strong joint. And then, then does another paper go nope. over that? No, oh. no. Just then, burn. how it just burn on it, the outside? It's just gonna burn a on the outside. A little bit confused though. How's the weed on the outside gonna get? Oh, it'll get smoked. Oh, it's gonna burn. It's oh, gonna really? Burn. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And that liquid he put on there. Yeah. It's it's gonna oh, yeah. It's all gonna be very, sauce, very saucy and juicy. And Sauce show. The sauce. The sauce. By the way, I had to look it up. It was driving me crazy. It came out in 90. Because I remember where okay. I was when I seen it. That's like 88. I'm like, no. Yeah, yeah. I knew well, where we did I was. It. Well, then I, we, I did it. You idea. filmed it in 88. Right. Yes. yes. I just knew. I went, he said it came out. I'm like, no way. Because I knew where I was. I'm like, it had to be 90 <laughs> or 91. But okay. you know what's crazy is kids still read that book. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The book and they was still from the 50s, watch, right? They still watch the movie yeah. in and school. It was required reading in my high That's school. That's like Word. That's like old. The Outsiders. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's very much. Lord of the Flies. Very much yeah, like exactly. The Outsiders. And they still do. So it's funny. I mean, I still get yeah. a lot of mail, this, that, from from that. Mm -hmm. That's cool, man. You know. That was a big one, though. That's why. And that book was, I think, in the written in the 50s or something. Because I remember my pop said this was when he was a kid. Yeah. But I think a lot of it is just people know about the book. Absolutely. Yeah. You know yeah. about. So it's like yeah. when you do something that's actually in the zeitgeist like that, it's. 
it's different, you know. Yeah, I remember in my class in uh in high school, you know, had to like break down all kinds of shit about the book and everything, the characters and everything like that. Yeah, I did. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, uh, who you gonna see. give that you to? You should pick Halle Blaze as your ringer <laughs> again. Bring it. I'll take it. No, you yeah. know, if you want, I'm or already here. Give it to Bolton. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Give I'll it take to Bolton. It. There you go. Give it. You to guys want to hear a crazy story? Shoot it. So I got Lord of the Flies. I'll do the cliff notes so, so I don't take up too much time. I, I got Lord of the Flies after months and months of auditioning and back and forth and a pretty long process. Uh, so I got cast in the lead and we had, you know, two or three months uh, before the film started. And about a week before principal photography, I was in my dad's backyard uh, playing in a tree basically and I fell 30 feet and I landed and I snapped both of my arms. Oh, oof. Whoa. Well, like compound fractures? The boys that can see the scar, yeah. yeah. So literally the bone ripped out of my skin. <laughs> compound, yeah. Both, both arms broken. Oh. Finally, somebody ran out and saw me. Ambulance had to, had to pick me up, obviously rush me into, into the ER. My mom had to call the director and say, you know, Baltazar's, he, he's broken both of his arms. And, and that was it. We thought the movie was done. It was over. They were going to have to replace me. And basically, um, they waited three weeks for me while I healed a little bit. And on this arm, we ended up wrapping a T-shirt around it. And if you remember in the movie, when you first see my character, he has a broken arm. Yeah. But that was a real broken <laughs> arm wow. underneath that, that wrapping. That's and great. then on this arm, I had a splint. So right before we roll, I take the splint off. Oh, wow. So for the first three months, I had two broken arms. Brutal. Oh, radically <laughs> broken arms. Whoa. Fucking brutal. Wow. Yeah. Man. Oh, they really wanted you. Yeah, I heard it. Yeah, they really yeah that's dedication, too. It was crazy. You heard that F-word stuff? That was you. I cuss? Oh, you did. Oh, you did. Oh, man, pass oh. me another shot. Oh. <laughs> pass me two, because I actually had one from earlier, too. Go. All right. Bring it. I'll there just, it is. I'll just fill your thing all the way up, yeah? Yeah, sure. yeah. <laughs> Double shot. Number two. Sure. Well, because that's a double shot, this... Yeah. This thing it is strong, double, very strong. It's a strong fatty. It's so strong, shot. and it's almost done too. Thank Look you. at that. So, so be real. Tell me a little bit about how you. Uh, I feel like you really were ahead of the game with with all this online stuff and 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 creating content and 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 doing what's kind of commonplace now in a way. But I feel like you did it. I'm I'm a little I'm interested a little bit about how you. How and why you saw that? You know what we were we were uh, Bobo and I were doing radio over at the Beat in in um on on ninety two point three the Beat Friday nights. Uh, C minus was over at Power, okay. and I think we did it for what Bobo three four years. We did that for like three and a half yeah, years. Three and a half years, right? And uh, when we when we left that because of the politics and because frankly they didn't pay well enough and they didn't keep their promises, you know, we missed the platform because we realized, you know what, hey, you know, we got a Friday night show, it's doing really well, we can promote anything we want right here. Um, as long as we don't violate any of the rules, we're good. Um, but when we lost that platform, we realized we lost that platform. So some years go by and, uh, Maceo from De La Soul mm -hmm. tells me, hey, man, um, I'm doing this thing on on uh, this platform called Ustream. If you ever want to come uh, visit. Yeah. Yeah, you got that. Yeah. Fuck. No, no I didn't see him. No. He's underneath. The yeah, he's hiding. Uh, I'm going to get him. Uh, uh, but. <laughs> Dude, you I what? Did you just say the F bomb? I did. Yes, you did. did. But I think that in that case, it's okay. Yeah. So Maceo, <laughs> that was Maceo, out of passion. Maceo <laughs> invites me to do this this uh, thing on his on a to to see his his stream. Right. I see it, and then I th I thought, wow, that's interesting. So I try to stream, and I got some pretty decent numbers without any promotion or anything like that. So what year was this? This was like uh, two thousand nine. Something like that. I just looked oh. up. Ustream oh. came out in 2007. Almost. Say what? 
Ustream came out in 2007. Yeah, so like for me, it was 2009 when I started rocking with it because Maceo told me about it. So I, I started doing streams way back then, but instead of going on Ustream, I went on Stickam because they, they had a bigger user base. And uh, so we've been doing it since 2009. We just flipped it over here to, to, to YouTube and mm. Twitch and Discord in the last few years you know because uh it was just a it was wide open so salute so to all y'all for being thus cunt shit fuck oh, and fuck yeah. all that yeah <laughs> fuck yeah fuck yes. oh all right Three minutes in yes hey. Hey. Here we are. i only had two fucking violations that's fucking great well done See there, folks. finally <laughs> trying to get that fucking fly and breathe what was your top three uh, cuss words, Blaze? I don't know. Fuck, fucking shit, fuck, fuck cunt. Yeah, shit, <laughs> fuck, fuck, cunt. cunt. <laughs> those are all golden. Cunt they is are. number one. Those, those are all in his pantheon. Yeah, of cunt is number one though. Cunt is. Cool. Uh, That's not a cuss word. Not, I don't think so. It could be. When referring to a, you can't say it on TV. Yeah. That's hey. Americans don't like that word. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah right. Z word. Yeah, I love, that I love it. Yeah, I do right. too. It's a good one, but yeah, overseas it's used as yeah, yeah. like it can be used endearment. as a term of endearment. You yeah, know, yeah. like oh, get over <laughs> here, you yeah, yeah, but yeah. still yeah, yeah. on TV, you <laughs> don't see hear it that much though. If, if in in in, in I don't movies think you, you can, do. yeah, you yeah, don't no. hear it. Yeah, no, in movies you do. You know what I mean? But you don't hear it on the TV that much because it's the boys. See you next Tuesday. It's, a, That's it's the, considered uh, an expletive. Don't be a cunt. Out there. <clears throat> yeah. It's also one of George Carlin's seven dirty words. Yes, or twat. <laughs> twat. Did you guys watch that, the Carlin documentary? Yes. yes. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. It was yeah. great. Yep. Hey, have you watched, um, I don't know if you, you know, watch any of the streamings or into any of the streaming services, but there's this this show on Amazon Prime called The Boys That We All Watch. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, have yeah. Have you seen that? Loved it. It's right. yeah. fucking crazy. But right? I haven't seen, there's some new ones I haven't seen. I yeah. think it's... The new season, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's it good. ramps up. I thought it. Oh, okay. Because I thought it started to lose quality. Oh like no, the it first, better. The first one or two or whatever were amazing, and then it, it just started to get like they didn't <laughs> oh. know where to go. Like, oh, it ramps up. Like, oh. <laughs> it ramps up pretty well in yeah. this season. Oh yeah, you should. I, I yeah. agree with that. It was good, but it was it was it was lost as well. Yeah, I suddenly yeah. they're flying into sharks and like you just, know, it's just completely <laughs> like. Like I like the deep, but the deep didn't fit with the whole the whole thing. You know, he yeah. was like a total sideshow in the mix. Yeah, what was going on? Yeah, but I mean, it's still great. But it was like, eh. but then he, I think he more played his role of. Bro, the guys getting he's, blow he, jobs from an octopus. He's inspired by <laughs> Aquaman, though. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. you know, when they created his character, he's supposed to be the Aquaman of that. But I love the whole yeah. concept, the kind of the loser superhero. Yeah, they're, yeah. Not, yeah. they're not They're, they're not heroes. Fun. They're just yeah. degenerates. Yeah. yeah. And it's, yeah. They're paid to be superheroes. Yeah. But they're not really. No. Starlight, really. though. Yeah. They're all great. But the, 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 the lead guy, he's pretty great. He's pretty intense. Oh, again. Oh, oh, what's his I, name? Homelander? Homelander. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Homelander. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Watch him. Dude. Oh, man, he's good. He's that. Hey, you know, he, was, he used to be on uh, Xena. Princess Oh, was he? Yeah. All the way back then? Yeah. Dude. He's been around for a minute. Homelander is, like, all over the memes right now. Like, if you go, oh, know, like, like they're using scenes from this last season, and he is, yep. and like, and it's always whatever the caption is, yep. but it's always what about him. The, have you guys seen the other one? What's it called? The uh, Bicycle Academy? The... What? What's the yeah. one? Uh, Umbrella Academy. Umbrella, Umbrella, Umbrella Academy. Academy. Yeah, yeah. yeah I saw. Looks I, I, terrible. I, season no, one. It's amazing. Oh, yeah. I, I haven't seen that one. Bro, season bro. one is good. I Trust me, it. season it's one, so good. Yeah. yeah, it's a great show. There's two other seasons. Yeah, yeah. I, gotta, I gotta check it. Yeah. It's 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 honestly a great show. It's it's. Is it regular Harry Potter style stuff, or is there a twist to it? Yeah, uh, you gotta watch it. There's okay. a twist. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah, it's a trip. It deals with. Uh, yeah, I look at that cover. I want nothing to do with it, dude. It's actually bad. <laughs> I want out. <laughs> I want I've out. Been mean. Yeah, it's not a good, but that's that's not a representation okay. at all. No, it's it's like a boys type of thing. There you about go. That's having what I'm cor they have corrupt uh, powers ah, and yeah. Okay. So it's it's. Uh, it's that poster does not give you an indication of the no fucking way. Yeah, pull up a pull up a, a still from the from the movie or something. It's uh, 
It gets it's pretty wild. wild. It gets though. yeah. It yeah. looks yeah. like Aton at the top. <laughs> Aton? Yeah, see. yeah. Look at look at. Uh, go back to that picture. Oh. oh. Aton. If Aton, <laughs> if Aton was big. Oh. <laughs> pull up a. I know you can't probably can't play it on the show, but you got to pull up a, a scene so they can see. <laughs> I mean, pretty good. The Umbrella Academy. Yeah. Oh, Netflix. Dumb. Yeah, I'll, I'll give it a whirl. Yeah, dude, they had like for a minute there. They had <laughs> there. There was uh, uh, Umbrella Academy memes. They're pulling were, up the weirdest. Yeah. I might got one <laughs> out yeah, again. Bro. By the way, these are all like, the ones <laughs> popping out right <laughs> away. I don't know, baby. Yeah, um, those are the first things that pop up. No, they're they're. Uh, I mean, how do I don't? It's such a kind of intricate. But they're basically eight siblings, and they all have like a power. Yeah. A superpower, oh, so they're, but they're all fucked up. So one of the, them's an addict. Yeah, one yeah. of them's this. That's so these what are I all meant siblings. by a twist. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Yeah. Here's a. This is another run. Well, this still is. Yeah, it's not. It looks like line dancing with a guy. Yeah, this looks bad. Homeboy. Here, trip, keep, here, here. Eight ton on roids. <laughs> yeah. Keep Aton. going. Uh, Roid ton. Roid ton. Oh, that's great. Anyway, look. <laughs> anyway, look. <laughs> you guys, it's good. you're bored. Watch it. I don't yeah. know. Uh, I'll give it a shot. <laughs> I will try it. No, it's good. I don't, I, have, just, I don't have a piece of this movie. I'm yeah. not trying to <laughs> push it on you guys. I actually, B-Roll just got me to watch what's it called, that um, Reservation Dogs. Have yeah. you seen any of that? I, I haven't seen it, it's but actually I actually pretty good. Oh, man, it's actually pretty good. That funny. shit is hilarious. Yeah. The characters are funny. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. I didn't expect to like it, and then I put it on, I was like, all right, this is pretty good, and I went through it. Yeah, I wasn't sure what I was getting into neither, but it's it's pretty damn good it's funny good and character. the writing is really good too yeah um <laughs> yeah did you see a Dirt? dog face is in it actually yeah i just seen him in season two yeah. really yeah Show dog face of him. hell yeah what up dog face yeah is this a uh, better representation here i there mean you there you go well, at least yeah that's we a little bit better shit. thank wow. you i Ooh. mean yeah because <laughs> that like you Thank type you. this in on Google, every one of the scenes are like them dancing. Yeah. <laughs> wow, they don't do it. They know how to have a good time. Yeah. Whoever you are, I appreciate you finding a more accurate portrayal. <laughs> well done. <laughs> oh, man. Yes. But they saved the day. Yeah. No, no, it's, it's yeah. good. Oh, you watch, it's you dark. It? No. It's oh, it looks interesting, though. You said more like save, save civilization. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah, saving the day is only the day. These guys saved the world. This is the, these are the weird. I can't believe that these are the stills that they they, they released. put out, right? Yeah, right. like somebody in a room is like, yes, that one. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Yeah, yeah you know yeah. they should That's pay attention one. to what 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 their fans screen capture in the scene, right, and put up as the shot of mm. the show that they you know like that they like. And then do that. Right. Let the fans choose. Yeah. Because, I mean, you know, I think sometimes the fans got a better eye <laughs> but than, it, than the motherfucker they pay to do shit like that. And they put out. <laughs> straight up. <laughs> hey, <but laughs> what if it's the fans that are picking the dance photos? It's not. No way. Stop fucking around. <laughs> <laughs> who does that? Who ah! the little like and said, yeah, this is samples? Yeah. Who no? It's, who does it's, that? It's, oh, that's what Dom. The, it's one of the three guys up in the treehouse. Okay, so yeah. they get baked and then they just go, yo, what, what yeah. little buttons uh, should we it's press? Appropriate. You know? <laughs> the settle down is fucking dumb, and I know it's him. I hate that goddamn thing. Settle down. I'm like, oh, I like it. Yeah. I fucking hate it, man. <laughs> Gets me so it's, angry. And don't bang the mic. Yeah. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, right. Just start don't good. smash the mic. Hey, um, hey. <laughs> I want to give props to our sponsor, CBD Lion. Some of the best CBDs at game. If you want to check them out, go to CBDLion.com and pop that menu open. They got Delta 8 and 9 products, CBD gummies, edibles, tinctures, topicals, hemp flower, full-spectrum capsules, broad-spectrum capsules, isolate products, broad and full-spectrum products, CBD bundles, combo packs, pet tinctures, and treats. For your dog, too, my... If you like bathing, B, <laughs> they got some bath bombs. <laughs> Bananas. What? Bring it. Man, they can't what? still be sold out. Uh, you know, they restock and they sell out, man. Uh, go to CBD line, use coupon code BEREAL, get a discount on your purchase. All right. 
Use it. They got really good products, though. You know what I'm saying? CBD line. Rawr. Rawr. God. Yes, and if you've not smashed the like yet, smash it. Don't know what the hell you're waiting for. Do it. Crack the subscribe, or no, crack the all notification bell and subscribe if you're not subscribing. All right, share it out. Pass it to a friend like some weed and enjoy. All right, we got C minus. What up? Word. Special guest, my man Baltazar Getty up in here. What's up, guys? The strong one, strong tone. What up, everybody? Cali Blaze. And the iconic one, Eric Big Drop. Boom, boom. Oh. Racking Andy Garcia's cowbell. <laughs> right on, Damn, man. Damn, dude. He's on the cowbell now. He's, he's, he made he's okay. He didn't pass. Did no. No. <laughs> no, we got an ongoing problem with Andy Garcia, so we uh, jacked his cowbell. Hey, man, where's Snacks go? Copy man, look at yeah, snacks. snacks. He's got a "What do you mean" shirt on. Oh, there oh, he is. Kind of oh, look at that shirt he's got, though. Snacks is stealth right now. That's hell what yeah, he was. Is. Looks like he's missing <laughs> an eye or something. Damn, even he got a "What do you mean" shirt. That's tight. Oh yeah. yeah I mean, did you hook him up or what? <laughs> what else you, do? you get the, the the tape that you hang, and then the flies go on the little little tape thing. I want to. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we we had some we had some shit. It just or just a swatter. What about an old fashioned swatter? Just a couple cats around here to take care of all these flies. <laughs> just watch them just jump cats. over. It's every... true. It's always like good to have someone like, forgets property you have. Someone forgets to, to close cats. the door behind them sometimes, and this is how things happen. Mm. Since when are cats good for flies? I love chasing them. <laughs> <up. laughs> Who gets a cat for flies? That's Once they magic. see that fly, they're locked. They're obsessed till they, they get that fly. Do. They, they try to like, catch really? it. Yeah. Yeah. Killer bees oh, on the floor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> never they'll do that. some really crazy shit. Oh, yeah. they're hunters. I'd rather have a lizard. Get me a, like one of those chameleons. They can get one from like halfway across. <laughs> Just the keep them on the table? Just yeah, let them run around. Just keep a lizard on the table. Things. We should. They'll be whacking them. People Half that are on mushrooms will be like, oh. Shit. Yeah. Yes. Why can't the Venus flytrap get it? It's not it's 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 a baby <laughs> trap. You know? Yeah. Feed me, Seymour. If we kill one, we gotta feed him. He ain't got the skills yet. That's a great movie. Right. Yeah, that's okay. Audrey. Another <laughs> Audrey. <laughs> Another Audrey, cult classic. Want... Big yep. time. Audrey. Yeah. That's uh, yeah, that's another cult classic right there. Bro. Absolutely. Yeah. It's a lot of stars in that one too, my is that something you still want to do, B? Uh, What's that? Be in front of the camera Damn. and it, that it takes a lot of patience for that. I got a lot of patience, but not that kind of patience. You know, I'm. You know, music's always been my thing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've gotten. Yeah, you've you know, gotten down a little I've, bit. I've gotten in front of the camera yeah. here and there, but it wasn't really like a a, a thing for me. Like, oh, I got to do it. Right. If someone were to call me and be like, "Hey, we see you as right, right," uh, you know, yeah, I would, I would do that. But like going and trying to get the role and all that, yeah, yeah. <laughs> not so much. You'd not be so good much. in a like a serious like role. I think you can flip it. Yeah, I think like you're saying, you want you you need a straight offer at this point. Let's yeah, be real, something like that. Yeah. yeah, offers only people. Yeah, I'm not trying to. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> trying to. I'm not trying to hunt it down, man. Yeah. I mean, you know, and, Fair and, and enough. It, I, we were too busy on tour, man. It's just like, you know, that's a different animal. And when you love, you know, doing shows and you love playing your music, you'll take that over anything yeah. else. Acting, I, Gary. I mean, Acting. And scene. <laughs> Don't you, uh, I mean, you must I could do love... voiceover work. I'd like to do I that. I would love to do voiceover work. That's actually fun. Yeah. yeah. More than, you know, doing a role i would do that i'd rather do that than have the camera for sure for sure for sure Definitely. yeah i'm on yeah I'm, i I'm agree on. all right <laughs> yeah. yeah all right then yeah oh so, you know <laughs> how'd that uh hey, um there is that thing new music came out today my you got according what? to dom uh -oh. according to the dominator the game got drillmatic. True. Right? No. Produced entirely by Hit Boy. By Hit Boy. He's making his boy. Hit Boy. Hey, man. And it's crazy. He's come. He, he he got quiet for a minute. Yeah. And then. 
Yeah, yeah. he did our smoke box uh, just recently. Yeah. Hit boy. And we're trying to get game up in here. Yeah, Come shout out to in. game, man. Yeah, one, of, one of the great L.A. artists. Yeah, he represents. Yeah, that's a dope. That's a dope photo. He got to come down here, man. And yeah. That record is 30 songs in an hour and what? 55 minutes. What? Wow. wow. Check it out. That's a lot. That's a lot. You know, you chop down your publishing practically to... It's three <laughs> records. To, to, yeah. It's yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, if, you, it's, if you're putting that, that out as one record, your publishing is... Minuscule. You said an hour fifty. Hour fifty. I'm more wow. of the less is more kind of guy. Yeah, but, uh, should have been like uh, chapters or something like that. Look, oh my gosh! Look you know, at that. What he could have did was <laughs> put out a three part album and kept the publishing like at the max. On all of them, yeah. Like just put out ten songs a piece since there's thirty. Yeah, right. And Hello. put them out in a series. But Every maybe you just had so much, and I get this. Sometimes you have so much material, you're just like, "Fuck it." Yeah, I'm but that, drop. But you got to have patience. You could put it out in a three part drop. Yeah. For the first month, they get the first ten songs. Second month, they get the the second set, and third month, boom, you hit them with the next one. Like so, you give the thirty songs a chance to breathe a little bit. Yeah. Because I mean, you're asking a lot. You know, for someone asking someone to sit for an hour and how much? Fifty-five. It's two hours. It's two, uh, basically yeah. a two-hour album. Yeah. Wow. To sit there and listen to that. I wonder how many people are like super pumped about it. I got through half of it so far. I mean, I'm pumped about definitely songs off of it. I would. De- I'm definitely gonna listen to it, but I mean, that's a mountain to climb right there. <laughs> man, when take you talk in sections, man. When you talk about climbing mountains, that's it. But I wonder yeah. why, like you said, why didn't they do it as three separate? Yeah, dimin- it diminishes your pub- publishing. Past 10 songs, it diminishes your pub- publishing. Like the, the percentage you get, your 50% as writer, Right. that starts going down. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right, yeah. Steph Tone? Am I wrong here? Ten, 10's the limit, baby. That's it. So when you put thirty, doesn't go so, above ten unless you don't just it, you don't give a shit about publishing or publishing checks or any of that, and you know art is art to you, and you're gonna get the money somewhere else. Mm. Oh, so be it. But if you're you know <laughs> conscious of this, thirty songs is <laughs> yeah, kind of yeah. Long long before I made song one, record one, I already. I already knew from listening to records and reading all the credits on the vinyl, you know, all the time. Like the whole that whole cover was just like something you just totally immerse yourself in. Mm-hmm. Um, I already knew from all the best albums already in time that they were ten songs or less. Yeah, ten. Yeah, that's that's twelve. Uh, that's the sweet spot. Yeah. Twelve tops. Twelve tops. Yeah. Twelve. You're being. You're I mean, being we generous. You're giving some gifts. I, I mean, we at times put too many songs on. On our albums, you know yeah, what I'm saying? I'm sure, I, everybody's the, the, guilty of we've that. We've all right. done that, but realistically, 12 songs is good. Yeah. Um, Megan, I think, like what you said, though, if you have a lot of material, it's okay, you know? Yeah. Now, do interludes count as songs? Yeah. Really? Yeah, they do. In hip hop, they do. Wow. Okay. So, you know, when you see a um, sound, song counter, that might come up as one, unless you, you, notify them or not notify them but you put it in in the how could i say it the you track listing a... the track listing and how it's positioned right mm-hmm. that it's the intro to the song so it's a part of the song mm. it's not something separate from the song mm. but then you get in a, a problem with that if you got you know sued for that particular intro wow and it's a part of the whole song right yeah, it, it it causes a problem. So that's why you hear less of those these days. But mm. yeah, those used to count too. You Damn. can. I think when you're making an album too, you can be as abstract as you want, and most people are never gonna get it as you release it. Some will. Right. Now they'll they'll have appreciation for it being, you know, a, a much deeper musical challenge than it just being straightforward stuff. But Give that record ten years, and that record's legend. All records in a in, in a dime turn into something special. True that. Yeah, especially I, when they weren't recognized when they came out. Yeah. Have you? Yeah. Even it's something like you know, ten years ago, I was like, man, I don't know. But then you go back and hear it now, you're like, man. Yep. I'm digging this. Yeah. yeah. It's different. Some music takes a dime. True that. Danger Mouse and Black Thought. 
Woo! dropped an album too called Cheat Codes. Yo, I like, I like which the, I like the single. I mean, at least what I heard. Well, yeah. Black Dot straight up Cheat Codes, man, because <sighs> like he can he can drop bars over anything at any time. Yo, like he's like he's special. He's yeah, one yeah. of the special yeah, ones. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Black Dot is amazing. Yo. he's amazing. Dude, there's a there's a thing about that album that they uh, released. There's uh, I think I forgot what it might have been with the artist Banksy, but they did this. They did a hundred special pressings of that album, Cheat Codes, and it's on a classic album r- classic album cover. But it's got that uh, red, black, and green bullseye. That's the logo. And if you find any of those, like that logo right there. Uh, if you find any classic album with that logo on it, there's a hundred of them out in the states. You got yourself money. a piece, yeah. Yeah, it's it's a piece. Yep, it's worth the money. Yeah, so it, it. there's one of Led Zeppelin. I think it's two or three, and it's got that that logo right dead in the middle. So if you see any album that's got get that it. in the middle, get it. You're like, why does this Cream album have this circle in the middle? Pick it up. Business tips. That's C minus. Right. <laughs> That's well right. Done. <laughs> Let me know if you find one too. There's only yeah. hundred. How much do you think they'll be worth? Ooh, probably depends on the album. It all depends. Yeah, yeah. the Zeppelin one's going to be yeah. worth money. Oh, that's going to be worth a lot of money. Just because it's that cover with that man. Yep. Can't wait to see what the others are. Yeah, Danger Mouse. He's had a cool career. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he has. That's they both have. Yeah. Like it's it's crazy that like you know to think that the roots are the in-house band. I know. For Jimmy I don't know Fallon. how I feel about that to be honest though. I feel like it almost a lot of hip hop lessons heads. lessons there. Like I don't know because I'm such a fan. Like I think yeah. roots are probably you know one of the one of the go. You know what's sure. crazy is they still go do shows and kill it. No, I know. <laughs> but, I mean they were. Man, always like in Europe, that's where they really yeah. like, you know, I got just, their chops in. You know, I just look at it as a, they a, like the business model. I, I, I give it a, a shout and a salute to Jimmy Fallon, though, for recognizing how dope they are that he would have them yeah. as the as the in-house band because they're that dope. And they're so different from any other band that had been on TV. Mm hmm. You know, um, as the in-house band, not not that they're they're better than these guys or those guys or whatever, but they're different and they're dope in their way. Yeah, and, uh, you know, it, it, they represent hip hop. And probably for them, they probably like the continuity of it. It's all they shoot it on the East Coast, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's right there. They're making they're making bread, you know? What Hell I mean? yeah! It's just like, and then they go off and do their big show. He does, probably harder for them to tour, right? He does right the now. Tonight Show, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I mean that's Johnny Carson, you know what I mean? They got that whole history of yeah. him. Yeah. Then they had the Jay Doc Leno Severson, history. Doc yep. Severinsen, and then uh, who did Jay have? He had uh, Bradford Mars or was it Bradford? No, he had one of the Marcellus yeah. brothers, right? But they've or, incorporated the roots into their show, I think, in a bigger, deeper way much than bigger, other yeah. bands. Like yeah. they're, they well, do sure. skits with them. They're always yeah. he's referring to them all the time. Yeah, but it's an East Coast show with an East Coast band. You know, like yeah. that, like musically represents it, the region. It, yeah. it, and it makes it easy for them. Yeah, and yeah. then they play backup for a lot of the big artists. Oh yeah, that's, that's come, cool. Which is kind of dope. Yeah, yeah, when you see them play in back of like super big artists, yeah, you're yeah, like yeah. that is rather than them using like an instrumental yeah, 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 a pre tape. Yeah. There's like the Roots is the band that can cover your instrumental. No, that's because they're sick. the only band that yeah. se- it sounds like loops. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Drums no, sound like program drums. No, the way kill Quest it. plays. Their the sound way. is so dope. Yeah, man. Yeah. Quest love. That whole band kills it. Yeah. Shout out to Stro Elliott. And, and you know, Quest Love's doing a lot of big things, man. Yeah. Salute. Congrats to him. It's making making shit happen. Yeah. Out there in Oscar so. winner. Hell yeah. Yo. Hell yeah. Yo, did you just do that thing to the head? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the one you set up all special. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I thought that was that was a big thing to be shared amongst your brothers. <laughs> no, you just, one of them. I didn't even see it happen. Oh yeah. Oh would you, yeah. Would you like me to do that to one of yours? <laughs> yeah, help him out. Yeah, dude. Here. What? Use one of mine. Oh. 
Um, wow, that's impressive, man. <laughs> he practiced. What, that toss? Yeah. Well, I was referring to him taking oh, that thing to the oh, head. Oh, no, that's what oh, we no. do over here. No, that's strong, strong tone right there. Strong tone. <laughs> that's what we do over here. Everybody takes the joints to the head. Right. Well, no, it makes sense. I mean, in this day and age, but I don't know. I guess just the way <laughs> oh, yeah. he was setting you know, it up. He's, he's hooking you up right now. Round, man. <laughs> Oh my god. Riggedy Rao. <laughs> <laughs> impressive. Wow. That's very impressive. That is, man. Shout out. I almost <laughs> want to send one of mine down there. Like, hey man, hook me up <laughs> too. Pepper this thing up. Hey, uh, I want to send a congratulations to Keenan Thompson, man. He just got his star on the Hollywood walk. Yes. Fame. Well deserved. Well deserved. He's been in the game for a long time, man. Yes, and, he has. Hey, he's one of the longest. Saturday night. Yeah. Live. yeah. Right? I think he is. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. longest. Before him, it was the other guy who used to do Bill Clinton really well. Uh, what oh, was his wow. Name? Uh, I still love SNL more yeah. times than I don't. You know, like when yeah, I watch sure. it, I'm like, yeah. uh, this cast I is pretty that. funny. It's, yeah. Yeah. I, I think they, live, they got some funny folks like, on this one. Yeah. yeah. Um, But yeah, he's, he's the, the longest running. Oh, he is the longest. Yeah, longest? yeah. Good. yeah. I think fourteen years. And he's or he's yeah. he's had other shows, but like none of them end up really going. So he's just like, yeah. I mean, Daryl Hammond was the other. Daryl Hammond. He was. He, I think he was. He was the guy before Keenan that had the longest running record Damn. for being with them. He had nineteen years. Who? Daryl Hammond. Yeah. Oh, and wow. how many does Keenan? Uh, let me double check on that. Damn, 14 years. Yeah, right? 14 years? Yeah. But he was great. All all the time he was on, his skits were Hilarious. amazing. Who, Keenan? No. Um, Daryl. Daryl Hammond. Daryl Hammond, yes. Keenan, yeah. it took me a while. I really didn't like him for a while because uh, I think of where he started. I don't know. Well, I think he annoyed me at and, first. And they didn't let him do a lot of sketches in the beginning. He had to, like, you know, slowly get in there. But he's funny, man. Yeah, yeah. It took me a while. He's funny. We're trying to get him here. Keenan was 19 and Daryl was 14. Oh, wow. Damn. Keenan passed him up. Yeah. Daryl. Him and Daryl are the longest wow. cast running cast members, I think. Now, Keenan, he isn't leaving SNL or. No, not, no. Yet, not, not that they announced. No. You know, he could. But I, I, think, I, I think if if you're still having fun, yeah, doing I that think format, he's, you know it's he, it's it's money in the bank for him. They're paying him. He's you know having fun doing it still. I mean, I I could imagine that it's a grind at some point because it's like constant. Like I was on a TV show called Brothers and Sisters for five years. Um, you know, pretty big show at the time, and you know. You're always grateful for the work, but you know, year year three or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> you're starting a lot. to itch a little bit, you know? And um I know I definitely have my issues with it. And yeah. like because it's just the way it's created, it's it's run by, you know, corporate guys, you know, everything has to go to the top and then down and you know, towards the end sometimes you just you feel like just like a monkey in a zoo, basically. Yeah. Yeah, but doing like, you know, a scripted show would probably be a little different. At least SNL is like fresh every week, different ideas. Yeah. So yeah. for them, it might be a little, yeah. you know what I mean? For you, yeah. I get it. You know, it's yeah. a character. It's like, yeah. where are we going with Yeah, this they got to do new, right. like, on the spot. Well, it's not necessarily on the spot. Like, they have writers that, that get it ready for the day of, but they're yeah. working through the week to do that. Oh, yeah. They're doing table reads and all that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they all got to be like, because. The cast are doing most of the sketches, and the guest is going to do a, a enough yeah, of them. Yeah, he's going to he or she's going to join in, and it's going to. But be. imagine that that's that's the gig every week, like five days a week. Hell yeah, that's crazy. You got to get you know you got to do A, B, and C, and then on that Saturday you got to be good on that day and don't blow it. Yeah, because it's going out live. Yeah. Oh well, thank you. This yeah. one's for me? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Well, all right. Let me just put this down. Well, all right, all right, all right. You got yours? Right. I do. I just uh, I took I took a couple um uh <laughs> facing myself a little bit. Right. I'm, I'm just going to I'm just going to put my reg, regular oh, yeah. one down and Yeah, it, but you know what? I got to say it smoked really nicely. It's yeah. a little wet, but it was uh it was a very enjoyable um hmm. uh 
yeah, it slows down. It sl- slows the burn. Yeah, with the with the concentrate around it. But it works. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it works really well. All right, it's about that time. I was going to yeah. say, uh, before we get into that, we got the Nomad Funky dropping today at yes. 420. Yes. Look at that. Pop that. Hour and 20 minutes. It comes in the classic size and pick them up before Steph Tone and Callie Blaze buys them all out. Bit, yeah. Better watch out for E-Zone, too. He'll go buy half of those up. Oh, hell yeah, he will. Shout out to E-Zone. He's in the chat. What up, E-Zone? E-Zone! All right. How's it going? Let's do it. All right, we got a bunch of submissions in today. First things first, we got Hector up in here saying, please wish my wifey, Nicole, a happy birthday. Happy birthday, Nicole. Happy birthday, Nicole. Happy birthday, Nicole. Happy birthday, Nicole. Nicole. It looks like you're headed up the river with a boat and a paddle. (laughs) You got me. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Looks like a good time. Looks like a good time. Happy birthday to Nicole. Notice how he said happy. She's got a birthday and not a birth month. Step. Wow. Well, she and by the down. way, Colton, I seen that fuckery on the screen. What would he do? You see what he put on the screen? Yeah. Happy birth month. Saver? <laughs> yeah, happy birth month, Steph Tone. Yeah. Hell oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, birth Woo! month, bro. So, Paul, you know, like, yeah. what we're talking about here, Paul, is, um, you know, chicks usually take a, a birthday week, a birthday month, and, you know, guys like, Callie and I think that guys, we should only get our day. Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't get a month. That's right. What do you mean? You don't even get a week. You barely get the oh, day. If you, you know have a week, that's right. You barely get the day. Now, I, now I don't hate on guys that want to take a weekend I do. or a week. I do. Or and a I month, hate, but... and I, I, I hate that. Right. <laughs> I also hate having to prov- provide that too. You know, yes. <laughs> my pussy still. Itchy. Here we go. <laughs> 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 I love it. I don't have any part of that. I don't know what that was about. (laughs) Next one. Get this guy some monostat. Oh my god. Oh (laughs) bad. That's that bad. That's that bad seal. Oh no. Damn. Damn. That was good. I'm not a part of this conversation. <laughs> and we got David up in here saying, shout out to the whole crew. Hope everybody's enjoys their Friday. Enjoy your weekend. Wanted to share my prime rib that oh, I made for dinner. Okay. Yeah. Damn. Oh. That's nice. That made primer. some veggies with it, too. That's oh, nice, too. Eat your veggies. Boom. Eat your greens. Oh! Oh, Perfect. It's amazing. What do you mean? Eat them. Oh, that's a little rare for me. That's good for prime rib. That's nice. I hate when the gravy blasts off the side of the plate like that. Like yeah, it, like it too, erupted baby. and lava's flowing into the city to destroy it. Yeah, yep. I get it. <laughs> like that. It's because it's going to destroy put. your clothes if it's, that plate's too close. That slice of meat. Put a bib good. on and go for wow, it. Wow, look at that. The mashed potatoes, It's though. a little rare for me, but yeah. Mm. Hey, the Just potatoes. saying, I know it pisses people off, but I like it well done. <sighs> That's I'm a good I would go medium. I'd go medium, but I like uh, medium well. Medium well? Uh, medium I'm medium well. with most steaks is medium. Yeah, for me it's medium. I mean, like filet, you could do a little more medium rare. But, but yeah, I mean, some medium. guys lay like this rare. Alive. Like, like, yeah, yeah. No, I don't like, like it cold. I can't. That's that. cold. No, like, no, that's too much. Take the well done or medium. It's like, <laughs> yeah, it's like, <laughs> <laughs> no yeah, no, I can't have it like that. No. Nope. No. <laughs> and we got Diggity Dank up in here asking for a little joint rating. All right, oh, let's wow. go to the neck. <laughs> say it right off the bat. <laughs> right the That's a five. All right. Five. Five. You guys are we, fucking we, we, haven't, bro. we haven't even got to it yet. Hold on one second. <laughs> <laughs> scroll, scroll to the right. Is this Damn. overall technique? or Sweet Yeah, five. overall oh, technique. Overall. All right, there's a squeeze point. Aww. Squeeze. All right, squeeze. keep going up. Squeeze. Go up the elevator, yep. Uh-huh. There we oh, go. Oh yeah, uh, what that, that there is a flare out right there. If you look at the shadow, the shadow line, <laughs> is a thick line right here. And then when at the neck where you squeezed over here, down, down, no, oh, my bad. Oh, what are you doing? 
Sorry. Mm. Down. Yeah. Like, where are we going down here? To the left. We ran out of weed Right over there. there. Yeah. See, see where that little black spot is on the surface? Mm. Right. Just to the right of it. To the right. That is shade. Just to the right of it. Right. Right there. Squeeze. Mm. <laughs> oh, um, that cost you a little bit of points. I don't think that's a five. I think that's more like a six. It's a strong six, though. If that's a, that's a smaller paper, too, right? Nothing wrong with a six. Yeah. No, no, nothing wrong with it. I mean, at all. It's a quick five from Steph. It's a quick five. Oh. I roll three pieces all day. Threes and fours. But that's going to burn like a ten. Yeah, I'll tell you that. Right gonna, yeah, it's going to smoke. Excellent. Smoke. But if we're talking about shapes, I'm just saying that. Yeah, you just had a little squeeze point right there. That last bit, <laughs> that last one inch of the joint. It's and at the top, yes. If you go to the top of the joint. Look at that. Go to the top end, Colton. Look, well, look you had that. it. On, yeah. No, on yeah, you can only zoom in so far. No, no, I meant, yeah. I, meant like, I, I meant like where the hand is, go up the yeah. joint. No, 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 no. God the, damn it. Oh, Listen to Oh, my God. I, just, <laughs> where, I don't know where you're talking about. This is the, the lighting point. Wow. Okay, that's where I was. All right, yeah. the top of the lighting point, <laughs> right up in there, like go, go to your left. It flares up right here. Mm-hmm. So, you know, there it is. Like bell bottoms? Yeah. Sort of. See? I don't see it. <laughs> oh, I mean... my God. Next. Hello. <laughs> and next up in here, we got James, and he's saying aloha from Hawaii, smoking on some banana OG and trying to get better at rolling these backwoods. Well, I can't rate that because I don't roll them, so... <laughs> Stop doing that immediately. <laughs> but, yeah. Save your lungs. That's not, that's not bad <laughs> turn, not as far as a blunt is concerned. No, it's not bad, but they just I can't because of what does to my lungs. I what is that? I can't I rate it because I don't roll it. Dude. I can, but I won't. But you know when you see a bad one, oh, yeah. skinny and then fat. In That's the not horrible, no. Like, you know, Rich fingers. Yeah. It needs yeah. a funky fill tip, though. Yeah, that's for sure. That's, you know. Thank that's, you, Steph Tone. Thank you, Steph Tone. These are delicious. Yeah. Bon appetit. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, come on, man. Get off them blunts and use them papers, man. It's better for you. Flavor. It's way better for you. It's Look better that. for your throat, better for your lungs, better for your taste buds. Everything. Better for everything. We got Johnny up in here saying, Meet Nala and Max, our Asian leopard cats. Oh, what up, kitty? And Meow. they get funky off that catnip. Yes, they do. <laughs> Flip it. Flip it good. Couple little killers right there. <laughs> you need to flip it. Cat flippers. By Eric Bowman. They're probably out there hunting flies. Instead of catnip, cat flip. Right now they are. Uh, lizards, probably. Lizards. Keep Bru- lizard, lizard. Cat trip. Lizard. Cat trip. Oh, cat, my God. Cat trip. <laughs> Cheers, sir. And we got Ryan H. up in here saying, great show the other day. Did two hours of six and a half miles. Shout out to you guys at the table. Let me see that. Zoom in. Let me see what he did here. All right. Mm-hmm. 499 calories, all right. 11 kilometers. Yeah, where's this fucker? He's out of the country. Everything's in kilometers. I think he's in Australia. Yeah, he's in Australia. Yeah. Uh, he, he. Mm. That's good. That's good. What was that for yesterday? Yesterday. Okay, let's see. What was eyes well yesterday? Wait, I need my phone. Hold up. I'm going to tell you what mine was yesterday. And I'm not trying to shit on yours. I'm just trying to compare here, okay? It's just comparing. It. Hey, this is delicious. Hey, itchy cunt. Nice. Do you want to lace me up with one? Itchy sure. Cunt. He's oh. an itchy cunt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's a hunt. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, what was his... Uh... My pussy itches. <laughs> <laughs> he burned how many calories I'm yesterday? I'm not in on this, <laughs> listeners. Uh, 499. <laughs> he burned not 499 calories yesterday. He's opting out. I burned 16. <laughs> yeah, homie was on a slow, he was slow uh, if he's talking about burning it. calories because you killed him. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know, I'd be killing shit. Is this, this is running? This is? Uh, Just, yeah, combination of running and working out in general. Like cardio um, of Did any you kind. Tra- of- you track it or something? Oh, yeah. yeah. Through the... Yeah, yeah. The, um, activity and yeah, yeah. Apple Watch. I, I love that. And we all I compete. never got into it. We all. Com- I don't even know how to do that. Some of us compete here. 
Gotcha. With like, you know, how much we're gonna healthy competition, yes. push each other. Yeah, pushing each other. Exactly. Mm-hmm. I don't I've heard know about some fuckery going on. But. Dustin, boy, I slowed, I slowed down yesterday because I was like, man, I, it's, it's, I need a break. <laughs> <laughs> what do you Dang. mean? Urr, I still <laughs> burned my max calorie God damn goal. It. Oh, you killed, you killed it. You killed it. What do you mean? Yeah. But uh, I was just like looking at uh, <laughs> he was Dustin's. Just looking at Dustin's race. Yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> you got to put that calorie count down if you're going to be doing all that. <laughs> He's uh, busy selling tickets for Smoke Fest. Yeah, Man, well, he can be running. Or so, wait, you guys are looking up each other's stats? Yeah, we're all locked in to each other's it. shit because okay. we shared it. Got you. And we can compete. I There's like a it. compete option here. <laughs> and, uh, man, yeah. Bring it. It goes hard. All right, next one. And we got Ryan H. back up in here asking, can I get a joint rating? Another one. Oh. Oh. Huh. Okay, well, he used, uh, what's that? That's a pasta noodle. Pasta noodle. Pasta noodle. Okay. Okay. Rotini or something. That's, a pasta. That's all right. That's, he's getting creative like stoners what do. What's wrong what with What actually is that? It's a like pasta a joint. No. It's, a, it's, a, it's yeah, pasta. It's pasta. Yeah, they use sure it. Is. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. Really? People okay. use it, yeah. Is that a thing? As a filter, yeah. Yep. Yes. Um, let's see. From the neck up, let's see. Hmm. I'm going to the 420th floor, sir. Please press the button. What do you mean? <laughs> not bad. Not good. That's, that's really? No, I'm joking. I'm a... uh, needs a funky. <laughs> needs a funky. I'm going to give that a five. It needs a better Number grind. Five. Needs a better grind, too, yeah. Sir, this is an Arby's. Seems a little coarse. <laughs> This is an Arby's. <laughs> mm. hmm. Arby's. And we got Chris Folsom up in here saying the homeboy representing. Shout to JRE. Salute to Mr. Rogan. Yeah, man. He constantly... repping, repping the Cypress Hill shirt. Yeah, nice. He constantly shows love. Salute. Nice. I know that's an old picture, though. We got Rose and Ricky up in here saying, met these ladies on the CypressHill.com website many years ago from all over the United States. We decided to do a meetup back in 2005. Music brings people together. Awesome. Yeah. awesome. Oh, yeah. The Cypress Fan Club? Yeah. I like that. That's cool. Wow. That's Rosa That's in the Rosa front right, right there. there. Yep. Yeah. Rosa. She likes, she likes the party. Yeah. Rosa and awesome. Ricky. And we got the hawk up in here saying, "Bicking it with Bolton in the Asylum movie night the other night. These were my munchies. Some Mountain Dew and some Pop-Tarts. Pop-Tarts. You got to toast the Pop-Tarts, and yeah. then you put butter on it. Ooh. Yep. Well, uh, you Ooh. know, I think Trust over here me, we people. go with the toaster strudels. I, I, I yeah, how I am. Whose yeah. permission was that? And you put a little butter on that thing, man? Yep. I'm telling you. All right. Wow. Yep. We got the That's gourmet pop tart. Say what? I'm telling Bring you, it. shit hits. <laughs> That's gourmet awesome. pop tart. Shit, yeah. Get some truffle butter. Ooh. Ooh. Put it on. See what that's like. Hey, those are crustables, though. Yeah, I don't know about the truffle butter. <laughs> 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 what do you mean? Yeah, you lost me at the truffle. Yeah, you, the... It could work. You never know. You fuck with the strudels? Oh, yeah. Toaster strudel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Those are the business. Yeah, yeah. Pop tarts are dope, too, though. Yeah, the strudels yeah. have more berries. They're yeah. a little bit more pillowy. Right. Yeah. yeah. True. Flaky. Yeah. They're less, they're less dry. Right. Yeah. That's why the butter comes in. But if, <laughs> yeah, but if yeah, if you have it, toast one up a little bit crispy. Yep. Mm. Throw a lot of butter on that thing. Mm. Oh, you yeah, take yeah. it from like a four to like a seven or an eight. You For know? sure. Word? Wow. Oh, yeah. I've never done that. Yeah. I haven't tried that one. Try it. See. Yeah. All right. Try it. You're going to be like. It'll be your minute. You'll be like, damn. You can have a moment, like, whoa. Yep. Yeah. Dude, it's I'm like down. Fucking Pop Tarts. <laughs> <laughs> All this time. <laughs> All this time. <laughs> Dude, for real. And we got Steve O from the 209 saying he's smoking on some bomb ass gelato number three. Ooh, that looks good. I love that gelato. Yeah, it looks mm, gelato. really good. Smoke. Yeah, when the gelato's done right, man, that's one of the tastiest um, strains. Gassy and tasty. Gassy. Looks nice. Gassy and tasty. <laughs> looks great, Mike. Looks on my zinc. It's, right. it's fucking amazing. Isn't it? Isn't, Isn't it? it? And we got Apache Girl up in here saying, got my order in today. Shout to E-Zone and C-Minus. Thank yeah. you, guys. Oh, what, the, what do you mean? Hell yeah. Boom. <laughs> awesome. Thank you for getting that. What a stony burger. What a stony burger, dudes. Stony burger. 
That sounds like it could be a, a football last name. Michael Stoneyberger. Like, that looks Michael like, Stony that looks like <laughs> bread, though, like the cookies. You know yes. what I'm talking about? Yeah, remember when we got those we got those breads? You talk about the one on the bottom, right? Yeah. Yeah, I was talking about the one on the hat. Oh, okay, yeah. I was like, that one on the sticker right there, that's like a like a cookie almost. Yeah, that's the concha. concha. Hey, yeah. yeah, there's a there's a new high and hungry out now. Check it out. I'm high and hungry right now. Same. Word. <laughs> we got AMR up in here saying chilling with the guys after work on the table in the back of the warehouse playing some dominoes. All right, slapping some bones. bones. I love, this is, I love I love slamming bones. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, we're gonna invite you next yeah, time yeah, we I play do. here because we I play do. here sometimes. Okay. Right on this All right. table here. Let me yeah. know. Text me. Meant for bone slapping. Yeah, yeah. Dude. Love to slam some bones. All right. Like eight, we found we found right. another. Oh. Telling you, we need to have like a legit like event. Yeah. You know, yeah. two tables. Yeah, yeah. Play down it. to one. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Brackets. I'm down. Let's I'll put it. a whole other fucking table right here, man. <laughs> yeah. you know what I'm or over here, man. Well, that, yeah. You know, I'm probably over here. I can have two games going right Dude, at this two table. games right here. Yeah, for sure. Right at this table. You could, but comfortably. Nah, you you, you really could because it's 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 a four man play, so you need yeah, I think two tables for four. It's be like the Game of Thrones, but with dominoes. Okay. <laughs> Game of Bones. <laughs> I'm telling you, you, you know what? You could actually film the dominoes and like yeah. put it out as like sports content. Yes. For real. You know that, what I mean? Yeah, they, For, yeah. I can't, someone did that not long ago. I can't like, remember who it was, but like that would that something like that would actually go. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. The shit talking that happens at a, on, oh on, man. On, on yeah. The yeah. Also, just the unfolding of the game. Like people watch card yep. cards. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. The yeah. Unfolding of it. Yeah. yeah. When you lock someone up, when you lock everyone up. Oh, man. Oh, that's always great. There must be something online, right? Oh, you know what? People slamming bones? Yeah, when we we knock the bones down next time, we'll call you for that. And there's this game called Hot Box, right? Oh, man. You got to play that. It's mad fucked up. Dude, yeah. I like it. like... Cards with uh, cards against humanity, but okay. with a lot of weed references. <laughs> okay. No, the stoner version. I yeah. like it. Like, but really fucked up. But really fucked up shit yeah. too. <laughs> Hot box. All right, next. And we got one happy mama up in here saying happy Friday, checking out weed maps while traveling for my birthday weekend, and was shocked to see this. Definitely not my cup of tea. Mm-hmm. Super, Super booth pre packed oh, shit. Oh. oh wow, yeah, no, Man. no. That's not a good selling point. Anybody want that? That's terrible. That's not, that's not a super that's overpriced. Poop. That's not a great. <laughs> wow. It's not a great selling point. Where is that a track? <laughs> they figured they put the word super before it. It might change it. Super, super poop. Terrible. It's a little. Uh, I mean, I don't concerning. know. If, I don't know if they get that. That boof means. Poof. No. Sticks and stems. I think it's still used and as it's, a and it's shake. shake. So no, even if it's, it's no boof, no matter what. It, boof yeah. and shake. But how much was it an ounce? Forty-nine dollars, overpriced, Un- way overpriced. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, there no. it is. No. Over the line! No, and no. And we got Birdie up in here saying he's having a little pizza party. Party one, two, three. Hell oh, yeah! All right. Yeah, that hasn't Totino. been cooked enough. That is not pizza. Oh yeah, cooked. go an extra five. That minutes needs another five or ten in the oven. <laughs> Man, yeah. Yeah. Pizza yeah, right? for me. Light skin. Right. That's how I do it. Yeah, little... It's very young. Way yeah. too yeah. light skin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Blowout. I do Jeez, five over. No, the... I need a full. Hey. I need a full melt. That. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Brown. <laughs> yeah. No. I want, I want crispy edges. Yep. Yeah. That hamburger pizza. That might still be frozen in some parts. <laughs> <laughs> so, Listen, look at the front part right there. And, hey, but right there, said, look at my little young. above. I mean, is there an after like or is right that? Yeah. It's just not. That looks like oh, it's not no. even melted. Five, it, five to ten minutes over the recommended time. He, definitely. Oh, is, he said it looks. <laughs> hey, Bolton, is this is this the after or is this the before? Yeah, I don't think he even cooked it yet. I don't know. This is what he's saying. <laughs> right. no, I think yeah. that's, that's done. That's done. Right. That's, that's, done. that's his him, version that's of done. done. Yeah, yeah. That's his version of done. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you require it as though it may be the before. <laughs> And that's what's the amazing part. Oh, that's the <laughs> well, if you have an imagination, yeah. then it could be the before. Yes. yes. It's either frozen or soggy. <laughs> like, it still needs to be toasty. Yeah. Survey set. Next. <laughs> <laughs> and next up in here, we got McLovin up in here saying there are three Bobo's hamburgers on Manchester Firestone between South Central and South Gate. What? what? Bobo's blowing man, up, man. They love Bur- them burgers, man. Bo Bizzle. Yeah. Bobo's flipping burgers, my Flipping mm. burgers. You burger flipper. <coughs> Damn. Thanks for the invite, man. 
Yeah. No, no problem, man. I'm, you, I'll give you a coupon. A <laughs> <laughs> Bobo's Burger coupon. <laughs> that sounds good. <laughs> And we got Element up in here saying a little banana split ice cream cake. Oh, oh yes, please. Yeah. That's right. That's that's good. Well, this I'm is, okay with that. This is the torturous part of the show oh. as we are stoners yeah, and, hungry. you know, we've built up a hunger by gotcha. now. They, you know, this is what they The way to with. just torture yourself yeah. a little bit. Yeah. This is the interactive we get. Yeah. <laughs> But I feel like this will plant seeds for yeah. later in the day. Yes, and they come up with some great ideas. Sometimes. True. Some of it's terrible. True. S- not all of it. Not, not all. Not. Most of it's good. Yeah, most of it's great. Some is it's like, God damn, what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Five percent. <laughs> yeah, right. Right? I'll give it a dime. WTF. A dime, you think? Yeah, I'm a little more crit- critical. I think you are. Right. I know. You just oh, don't yeah. like the art. Like art. And we got Bart's Barbecue up in here saying everyone that has bought a ticket or buys one before 11 p.m. will be entered to win the VIP prize giveaway. He's also saying the smoke tickets are still available at Bart'sBarbecue.com. Unlimited barbecue and entertainment for four hours. You get all these ribs. I might eat one of those tomorrow for sure. A, I'm going to go get a pickup and pick up these ribs. What time does it all that, start? That looks good. Two o'clock. Oh, oh, no, this guy oh, is. Oh, it's going to be real good. Yeah. This, is, this is one of our this friends. taco. Oh! This, this mm. is one of our friends. He does it up right. And there's going to be, like, how many yeah. different vendors, right? Yeah, he's got oh, a bunch that, of different vendors. Like 14? Right, something like that. So you get, if you come buy a ticket, you get to try everything. It's like all day. He's not Four playing. hours. Look at that. Yeah, that's a cheat oh, day. Oh, my. Sure. Cheat day. Mm. Oh, what? man. And I was going to take it easy. No, you weren't. <laughs> not tomorrow. It's going to be bad. <laughs> no, I meant. I meant <laughs> yeah, dude. I meant, I meant from working out. Now I got to <laughs> yeah, definitely We're going to eat. Yep. You understand how much we're going to eat tomorrow? Oh, okay, bringing, so this is happening? You guys are. It's tomorrow. Guys? Yeah. Yeah. I'm bro. bringing me some boxes so I can box some shit up. <laughs> yeah. Bobo's bringing me Take some shit different. home. <laughs> yeah, Thank you. Be able to eat eight different yeah. vendors. Yeah. Right, Dude, well, maybe that's one a, tray. That's a lot. There's 14 different vendors. 14? 14? Trays, bro? Yeah. Yeah, I got to bring a stack of boxes. <laughs> <laughs> so what? It's going to be like a bunch of trucks or? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. And they're going to be uh, serving different vendors, you know, like. Okay. It's going to be cool. You can get, get your grub on. Yeah. Yep. And uh, C minus is going to be spinning. I'm going to be spinning. And yep. a couple other people going to be there. Designers going to, I think, flip a set over there. So. Yep. Yeah. Bob- so, uh, Bobo's jumping in. Uh, me and Bobo are, are doing a set together. That's what's up. We're going to have some fun. Yeah. Join oh, us. Um, All right. And that's it for submissions. Thank you for your submissions. Keep them coming to be real TV contest at gmail.com and we'll run them. Uh, we're going to open up the doors in just a bit to the insane asylum. So, but we'll do that in a minute. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, these vendors. Yeah. They're, they're some of the, some of the top bringing it, bringing it. Yeah. If you're a foodie, yeah. a food enthusiast, yeah. of any kind. Barbecue if oh my added. God. Yeah. It's gonna slap your taste buds. Yo. <laughs> yeah. The, I mean, there's so much good food out there now with yes. with those pop ups. Yeah. Like oh, pop ups, yeah. the trucks, the like. Just feels like there's a lot of good food in the city right now. If you wanna, if you know, but you gotta go out there. You gotta go adventure out there. Yeah. But definitely, trucks definitely change the game and it's yeah. for the better. Like, yeah. I love it because you get so much more craft food by people who would never have the means. To put yeah. the food out there like that, and it gives them a a, a, a chance to do it at an affordable pricing too. It's great. I feel like I never know where these spots are, though. Well, it's I feel like it's bro. hard people, to find. Yeah. It, like it's crazy because like it'll be like on Friday nights you'll see these trucks in their spots, right? It, they're before they started doing all the work on Wilshire, there would be a, a truck, a food truck um, stretch on on Friday nights. They do one up in the valley too, up on uh, I think it's Chatsworth. They they you know on Friday nights there's like just rows of them right, right. there. You just and pull up basically. Just pull up. Yeah. Choose what you want. Yeah. Bunch of different options. I mean, and so I think there's selected spots they do constantly, like you know, but it's just finding out where they are. Yeah. Where, where yeah. Are. I guess yeah. they're there. You just have to look. You know what I mean? Yeah. On the corner of Figaro and PCH, there's about at least eight to ten different tents 
everything yeah. from funnel cake all the way to Thai food, barbecue, yeah, really, yeah. tacos, everything. What day of the week? Or definitely every weekend. Right. Friday, Saturday, and Sundays. Yeah. Dope. But there's always there's like there's all kind and that's in Wilmington. There's all kinds of tents. Like every like no there's more people. I think I get that throw a tent up than have a truck, and the sure. tents are still banging it out. Sure. I get lazy though, and I don't want to leave the house and shit. You know. <laughs> yeah. I just cook, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, either that. cook or you figure out there's a few ways you can get food at the house. You know. Yeah. So I need to be. I sure. need to be. Yeah. I need to be more adventurous. I like. I get comfortable in my own little. It's box. easy. Uh, that's. I think everybody does that, man. Yeah, Especially when you do what we do. You know, you yeah. don't really want to get out so much. You just want to be in your own. Yeah. Because you're always like when you're working, you're you're out. Yeah. I want to be in my little. Yeah. Zone. I hear that. For real. The zone is everything. Yeah. You got to have it. Shoot. Shoot. Shit. <laughs> shit. Shoot shit. 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 Oh, I saw that uh after we were texting, you know, Soleil's yeah. mutual friend of ours. Yeah. Really good friend of mine. So I went and I watched <laughs> some of oh. the it was hilarious, man. Oh yeah. <laughs> she was you know how Soleil gets. Oh yeah. <laughs> She starts preaching, you know what I mean? Oh, they love her, man. Yeah. I mean, these they, these folks right here. That yeah, she's them, great. Well, she's so, them. yeah, she's so she's so full of energy. Oh, yeah. yeah. She's so passionate about her, you know. Yeah. yeah. I you, think that's always fun to see in a person, you know. She's really cool. Yeah, I got to get her back over here. Yeah. Yeah, it was her birthday, um, I don't know, two, three nights ago. Oh, I was, really? I was with her, yeah. Oh, I yeah, it was me, her, and, and Davey Arquette was there. It was a couple of the... Couple of old school oh, that's heads. Right, yeah. Happy yeah. belated birthdays. Yeah. yeah. Happy yeah, belated yeah. birthdays. Yeah, just Happy a couple birthday. days ago. Happy birthday, Soleil. She was another hip hop enthusiast back in the day. Totally. <clears throat> they yeah. would go to those hip hop clubs and watch some of the shows. Facts. For sure. Ballistics. Yeah. Or um, yeah. I mean, I think I met her at, at one of the House of Pain shows. Well, Google says. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, she had, I mean, her and Danny, I think they were, weren't they dating? I or think so. Some, some kind of situation. Yeah, yeah I, that, I definitely I think met that's, Soleil through Danny. For yeah. Sure. I think yeah. that they show that in the film they, a little yeah. bit, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. It, it's crazy how all that connects. Yeah. With, you know, all the movement we all made. It's crazy. Yeah, but it's, she she did it at her, did you guys see the film? Yeah. Did you see? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was really good. good. It was good. Yeah, it was right? very good. Yeah, I was Absolutely. really I'm proud of her pulling that off. Yeah. It's not that, I mean, it's hard to make a good movie. Man. Oh, for sure. A lot, especially everything like a, has to go right. Especially like a documentary, yeah, too, like sure. that. Yeah. Um, she, I think she's going to pull out some more shit, you know what I mean? Well, so, you know, she has a new one. She just uh, She's just editing now, and apparently it's a really powerful. Yeah. yeah. I bet it is. Yeah. Yeah. And she she works, man. She does. Oh, yeah. She's cool. She's got a lot of hustle in her. That's right. I like that. Since day one. Straight up. But you know, we all go through our learning phases, man. Sometimes you don't realize it till later in the game. And then, you know, if you're smart, you utilize all that. And she's definitely done that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, she um yeah, she's she's great. I'm not surprised that you guys liked her, you know what I mean? Oh yeah. But it was definitely like she was totally one of us. Yeah. <laughs> she's cool. <laughs> That's what's up. I mean, I knew her from way back, but you know, we hadn't hung out, hung out in a long time. So when she came through, it was it was good to see her, and you know, she just snapped right in. It was awesome. Yeah, it's cool. Word up, salute, and uh, we're about to open up the doors to the insane asylum. That means y'all. So if you got a question, comment, shout out, suggestion, mm-hmm. pop it off. Let's go. Welcome to the Insane Asylum. All right, let's do this. First one up right now, we got Smug234 saying, Awesome guest, been in some of my favorite movies. Young Guns 2, Lord of the Flies, Lost Highway, Where the Day Takes You, Natural Born Killers. He's saying, I bet you got stories for days. Respect. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Days. For days. We got Marbelle up in here saying a special birthday shout-out to Daphne. 
Happy birthday, Daphne. Yeah, happy, happy birthday, birthday Daphne. Daphne. Happy birthday, Daphne. Happy usually birthday. expect to hear something when Tante you hear Tante Agore. Happy birthday, Daphne. What language yeah. is that? It's your birthday, Italian. Mom. Italian. That's how you say happy bon birthday. Bon compleanno is how you say happy birthday. Uh, Tante Agore is more like how you sing happy birthday to you. Happy you go. Yeah, we mm-hmm. I uh, we have a little place in Italy, so uh, we spent oh, the summer. Oh, right on. There. Yeah, just got back. Hell yeah, yeah. And we got Todd Watson up in here saying, "Happy Friday, fam! Can we get a moment of true much love to party at one, two, three? <laughs> All right, you get. Wow. You get yeah, I guess you get one true, right? <laughs> yep. Are we just doing one. a what the Spando Ballet? Is that what we're doing? Yeah, that one. Yeah, that's the only true one. True on on, on a three countdown. Yeah. Three, two, one. True! Ooh. I wasn't uh, going to ruin go. it. Mm. Yeah. You did the right thing. Yeah. <laughs> Thank well you. Done. Thank you for not. <laughs> exactly. <Yeah. laughs> Thank you for your not. True. And we got Barina Barina up in here saying, I could listen to Cypress Hill for hours easily. Well, thank you. For hours. Yeah, I appreciate that. They're, they're hard to put out, these... Uh, <laughs> it's, you gotta smoke them to the end. Put them out. Like, yeah. <laughs> I keep trying to put it out, but then it won't go out. And I smoke it more. And, yeah. That's how they get you. It draws you right in. Yeah, Every time I, I try to pull it, it out, yeah. put it out, it pulls Like the me Godfather. Back. Right back. Yeah. <laughs> and we got Midget Mike up in here saying we need Chino XL on the show. We do. Yes. yes. If you haven't heard that uh, Chino versus Balt, I highly suggest you do. It's me and Chino XL. I produced it, did all the beats, put it out on the label. Where could they find that? It's, you know, YouTube. All the videos are on YouTube, Balt Getty. Um, and, uh, of course, on my Instagram, at Balt Getty, and also Chino XL. And, Word. Uh, yeah. Is that on any of the streaming sites? It's on all of them, man. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Word. Yeah, no, it was uh, definitely... Um, project you know certain ones you know are cut above i think yeah. as an artist you know you can look at your body at work and i think you know if you're honest you know i mean the fact that you got it down with chino man, yeah that's everything but it you know i mean if you yeah the the single is called ethiopia uh, i also directed the video and it's it's uh chino uh i think i texted it to you b yeah um so yeah shout out to chino he's 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 Make sure y'all check that out. Yeah. And we got hood hippies up in here saying Snacks is mad pimp in Maine. Them shirts are dope. Yeah, man. I said thank you, Snacks, for He's rocking. killing it. Yeah, man. Thank you, Snacks. Awesome. Hoodie and everything, man. LAFC money and features. Yep. You know, he's getting paid. Hey. And we got Big Badass Ninja TV up in here. Thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you, sir. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yes, sir. And we got Sven up in here saying, show to the table on this strong Friday and have a good weekend. Have a good weekend, Sven. What up, oh, Sven? Have a great weekend. Sven. Sven. And we got AJ Sense up in here saying, happy Friday, y'all. Don't forget to hit up Tommy's Burgers this weekend. Nope. No. Wow. Wow. No. Nope. That fat tomato no. slice. No. No. I'll go. I need that two-inch tomato slice. Why don't you guys just cancel the tomato and then eat the burger? Yeah, right. The burger's not because even that great. Tomato. Because then, you know, There's you'd no only be, you'd be eating more bread than <laughs> anything because uh, the patty chili. is you like... That chili, there's so much of that chili. This Listen, day and age, you got to go get the best one that's out there. See, the thing <laughs> is, is that the, the patty is, sl- is, is thinner than the tomato I know. slice. Yeah. yeah. So you would need a double patty on that for it to be significant. Be horrible. Nah, I'm not. Tomatoes in America are trash. They, they are. Sorry, trash. Man. I mean, sorry. Yeah. They're just, they're just ru- a big like mealy one. They'll just ruin. Yeah, ruin any sandwich. You ever had a Tommy's burger? I don't think so. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> ah, lucky. <laughs> well done. <laughs> don't. And we got AJ Sense up in here also saying the game dissed Eminem on his new album. He's oh, poking the did. beast. Of course he is. I did not know this. Let's see. I have not heard it yet. Um, but it's yeah, like that, an eleven-minute track as well. That, oh. that's, that's nine minutes. Like, come on, nine no. minutes. Nine minutes. <laughs> I mean, nine minutes. 
I don't. I don't know, man. I, I can't say. I can't. No. Mortal Technique did it like a nine or ten. No, I don't want to. Yeah, I mean. I don't want to. One of my favorite. I guess. Tracks. Look, I mean, there's Pink Floyd records that are ten, ten minutes, nine minutes. There's. I mean. I guess. Yeah, but that's <laughs> different. That's a little different right there. Uh, there's, mean, a, uh, there's a song that's 21 minutes long by uh, by Mashuga, and it's called I. Yeah. One of my all-time favorite songs ever. Like, like if I could go see that song get played live, I'd be like, all right, I saw it. If you could pull it off, cool, but... But it's the rarity. You know yeah. what I mean? Oh, yes. Right. the rarity. This would be an exception, but I'm just saying, peep that song out. You're going to love it. Yeah. <laughs> I hear you. And we got Chris up in here saying, shout to the entire Strong Friday crew. No better way to start the weekend than watching you guys. Wondering yeah. what everyone's go-to strain is during the average Strong Friday show. Uh, Whatever's in whatever, the bag. Whatever we're smoking. Yeah, yeah. there's no go-to. There's no they change too often. Yeah, they yeah. Yeah. OG, how about that? OG yeah. is always we, a go-to. Somebody's got to pay me we, to say. You know what I mean? We but, have access to too many different flavors to, like, Pinpoint one, because yeah. but OG's always in there. That's for it sure. is. But yeah. I mean, we've not been spoken me. more. Not an OG guy. Oh wow! Really? Sorry. Yeah. Shout out to the Fuge for this insane OG. It's fire yeah. as hell. So I good. Love it. I mean, we've so been good. we've been smoking a lot of different flavors. But I, I mean, I've been yeah. smoking Hindu funk today. Ooh, That's one of my favorites too. Beautiful thing. That's a heavy one. Right on. And we got date night dash night in here with two hundred dollars super chat saying appreciate you boys. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Damn. And he's nope. also saying, take a shot with me. I'm on Discord. I'm not able right. to turn my camera on, but if I have permissions, I'm cool. All right. I will do this shot with you because, I mean, that was it's amazing. Awesome. Yeah, I'll have one. Yeah, yeah. Help. Load him oh, up, dude. too. I will smoke in your honor, yeah, sir. Yeah, me too. Smoke. Uh, I hope you sent your address because we asked for yeah, that. Oh, we got it. All right, cool. Yeah. yeah. All right. That way I ain't got to ask again. Thank you so much, Mike. Here, this for Steph Tone. Hey, 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 hey. Mm. Smoke welcome, weed every day. Smoke. Oh, God. <laughs> That's one of those <laughs> records. You can play that. That 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 always goes. It's timeless. Smoke that will weed every day. that will always yeah, go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, we can't see him in the Discord, right? Is that what you? Yeah, said? we can't. But we'll get the Discord up here. Just have you guys in there with them. All right. Hey, pop in. Pop in with him. Where's he at? He's right here. Date night, dash night. Or he can't get his camera going, though. Yep. All right, date night, dash night. Here, salute to you, broski. Salute. 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 I just did a dab. Oh, the dab, right. Damn. (laughs) I just did the dab right now. Yeah, don't. What do you mean? You know what I mean. Dabbing on him. Dabbing on him. I just dabbed on him real quick. Dabbing on him, bro. (laughs) You see that again? You got to come up with a dibble now. We got to get it up to a thing. It only happens. It's a rare occurrence. There's the dab, and then you got to do the dibble. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Right. That's real quick. And we got Marbell up in your B. Uh He's saying, Colton, your mom needs a lover like me. She Ooh. will think I'm in the army, and she calls me major. When she calls me, she has to pay a fee oh. off the pager because oh. I crip like that. Yeah. And he's oh. also saying Colton is that one guy that misses the toilet when he pees. <laughs> All his homies call him can't aim right. Oh, oh man. Come on, man. Damn. Hitting the wall. Oh, man. Uh, the shot's fired. Bolton. Shots were fired What's all it? over the place. What's Damn, happening, Col- Bolton? Hmm. Marbell, I'm sending you to Grandma's to live on the old gravel road. It'll be a struggle, hard work, and lots of land to mow. Working on the farm, you better not throw a fit. You'll be milking cows while I'm sucking on your mother's tits. Oh! Time's up, Marbell. Oh, Lap of luxury is coming to an end. No more free rides, super chats, or extra money to lend. And no more be real yelling, What's up, Marbell? Because he's not your friend. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, just like rough. Who's that? Who's that directed towards? That was brutal. <laughs> you? There's an ongoing. Oh, no, not me. I'd be killing somebody. <laughs> the, 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 the ongoing feud between yeah. him and this, uh, this okay. cat named Mar- Marbell Mar- gotcha. in the chat room, and they throw bars at each other. Yeah, yeah, it sounds like it. You know, he you, Bolton was ready today. Oh man, I didn't think he was gonna be, and he, you know, he had bars. Bring it. Chambers loaded. Man, you can make a beat for Bolton. Oh. Who can make a beef for Bolton? Oh, have 
Who? Bald, Baltazar. Oh, Bal- <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bal- Baltazar. Yeah, Bal- well, you know what? Well, I could, I could chop. <laughs> somebody could chop up those vocals and add a beat in, in post, yeah. uh, post-production. Yeah. Yeah. That would be interesting. Yeah, yeah. And if you listeners out there, <laughs> so we'll tag, we'll just tag take one you. line and repeat yeah. it the whole time. Dude. <laughs> Someone does that, oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> Bolt and Bolt coming make, soon. Make this yeah. beat. <laughs> and we got Midget Mike up in here saying, Nipsey Hussle are honored with the Walk of Fame. Let's fucking go. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. We're out, man. R.I.P. And Midget Mike back up in here saying, Yo, Getty, tell us a funny story on Lord of the Flies. Oh, he did. Uh, you know, we actually had, uh, we would ha- have, we lived in this sort of apartment, all the, all the boys, and we had fight nights where we'd put all the bunks together in like a circle, and then all the kids would go around, and kids would jump in and, and Crazy. yeah, and fight. And that was our like, yeah, Fight club our, style? yeah, yeah, straight up. Wow. <laughs> yeah, and it was who all had, like primal, and like guys who, would get pushed in, and like who had the best hands? I mean, you know, I, I mean, obviously, I did. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I did. All right, <laughs> tell them you don't. Hey, you know, that's a good thing. Yeah, <laughs> they, they didn't yeah. want to come at both. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Dope. But it was fun. It was a trip, though, just to think about it. We, we created our own world because we were there for four months in Jamaica. No real parental supervision because they didn't do it through SAG, which is the Screen Actors Guild. Yeah. Um, they did it through something called British Equity, where there's no, you can work them until, you know. Doing that thing that y'all were doing, did that like keep y'all in the vibe of, of what you guys were getting ready yeah yeah in a way it did sort of what was happening off screen mirrored it in a way and it was just like this group of savage boys together like figuring it out (laughs) i could see that yeah fucking man fucking savagery man yeah all right i get it (laughs) yeah but that's why it came out the way it came out yeah yeah because of little shit like that. yeah and i think the director uh a guy named harry hook who Who's actually amazing. Unfortunately, he hasn't. He probably loved hearing you guys were doing shit like that. Yeah. Yeah, I think he did. He loved it. I think he created this sort of living situation. I think it was who, his. Who was the one that came up with the idea of doing that? Just the fight circle or whatever? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, probably me and a couple of the older guys or something like that. <laughs> probably me. <laughs> That's the best ever. <laughs> All right. Probably me. I feel you. <laughs> <laughs> oh man I mean they just That's sort of good. happened I didn't stop them <laughs> Yeah I mean Yeah Why, why stop it <laughs> It's that age You know what I mean Yeah It's that age well, Everybody's testing themselves yeah, At that yeah, point Yeah 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 It was the age <laughs> Put her <it> up <laughs> Next one And we got AJ Sense up in here Saying can I get a I love Madonna Alright look <laughs> Ring it well, it's like, what the fuck's going on? Yeah, uh, this stems <laughs> from a story. I guess this is a this is a bit on yeah, the show. Right? Yeah, th- yeah, this stems from a story of uh, Bobo and I and one of the other homies um, and an experience that Madonna wasn't there, but it has everything to do with her. Right? <laughs> gotcha. Uh, Sick. I'm sure there's a lot of history here and shorthand for stories and all kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah. So we're just gonna get this over with real quick. <laughs> All right. You guys ready? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Three, two, one. I, I love Madonna. Madonna. Ah. All right. That was too much. No. Ah, there you go. Down. And we got the senior smoker up in here asking a C minus doing the mix today. Yes. Yeah. Yes, sir. We'll all be in the mix. Yeah, all of us. Um, Javi Lopez, Psycho Less, C minus, myself on Twitch after this. B underscore real TV is the place. All right. So if you're already on Twitch, we're going to go directly into the mix right after the show. So. Don't go nowhere. If um, you know you're watching this on Discord, YouTube, we're gonna pop up the link. 
so you can go straight in. All right. So do it. Next. Yeah, yeah. And we got STL Batman Comedy up in here saying, Happy Friday, everybody. And just so you know, I don't know this guy. He's saying Colton needs to be at the table. And he's saying, can I get a moment of chaos to kick off the weekend? I don't know That's this right. guy. Happy Friday. Is it, uh, he said, I don't know this guy. You have to have the disclaimer. You, we didn't. <laughs> so you know, I don't know this guy. <laughs> hey, Bolton, why are you that. paying guys to <laughs> yeah, you know, get you on the table, man? Tell your cousin, bro. <laughs> Tell your cousin to chill Hey, out, we use bro. relatives. <laughs> yeah, that's my kinfolk. So this is my kinfolk. Kin <laughs> <laughs> hey, Cujo Goody was on the radio today with Bun B. It was a dope interview. Oh, they're dope. Yeah, it was awesome. Uh, it was on Bump B's show oh, those on two. Rock the Bells, I think it is. And, uh, yeah, salute to them. Those two are cool. All right, what were we doing here? Moment of chaos. Okay, oh, all right. Yeah. Um, Ready? Ball, on the count of three. Yeah, let's do it. Whatever's on the top of your head, just say it. And we're all going to do it at the same time, so it ain't even going to matter. All right? Okay. When you hear the explosions, that's when it's time to stop. Right. Okay. Just Random wild thoughts. Uh, okay. Yeah. Three, two, one. Stop. Man, I was like, fuck, I'm dying of forever, 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 <laughs> and the you bread. snapped right in. See how that was? Ooh, that was well dope. Done. It's like therapy here sometimes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and we got you're, Adam. You're welcome, all you listeners. Yeah. We got Adam up in here asking, does the guest have any ghost stories? Yes, well, <laughs> I mean, you know, like you've traveled a lot of different places. You've worked in a lot of different places. Have yeah. you ever encountered a different energy or seen something you ain't? You couldn't explain, and it tripped you the fuck out. Yes, I mean, I, I definitely, I haven't had huge experiences, but I do believe in spirits, and I believe that spirits can like haunt places. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, man. Um, they they asked this because you know we tell stories, and we've actually had things happen here at times. Uh, ghosts appearing. Well, not ghosts appearing, but things moving and. Right. Yeah. And, and whatnot. So, you know, we talk about this with certain guests. Yeah. And, you know, to see if they've had an experience of some sort. Yeah. And yeah. Them. I've had, like, I've seen, like, I've seen shapes and, like, things that I think are, like, shapes. Uh, yeah. Like, like orbs or? Like, like, shadow. Even, beams. like, beasts. Yeah. Kind of mm. like, yeah. Dark shadow beasts kind of thing. It, like, hey, it's crazy because if you watch, like, a uh, paranormal. Paranormal caught on the tape or whatever. Yeah. They show like certain clips of people catching the shadow, shadow yeah. things, and uh, it's a trip. Yeah. And so, like sometimes when I have really lucid dreaming, and I, 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 it's like I have terror dreams where I like have to try to keep myself up, but my body keeps taking me down. And like sometimes I'll see things um, like in my dreams like that. Yeah, yeah. Hey, that, wow. those are they, pre they feel pretty real at the time. I you know have what crazy mean? dreams like that too. Yeah, and yeah. they feel those, terrible. Like, yeah, yeah, a lot yeah. of times I'm falling. Yeah, 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 yeah. Flying yeah. and then all yeah. of a sudden those are I'm those flying, are I'm yeah, yeah, those yeah, are the yeah. crazy oh, ones. And they right feel there. so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you wake up yeah. mid fall. Oh, absolutely. Like, yeah. No, I, I. And by the way, I'm not joking. That whole. If you hit the ground, you die. Wrong. Wrong. I have hit the ground numerous times. You just wake Damn. up. Yeah, it's, and not all the time. Sometimes yeah. I lay there flat. Yeah, yeah. After and I hit the ground, up? I can't move. No. If you know, after you know. Like ground. certain people, like like my wife, she just like at night, she puts her head on the pillow, and she's asleep, and then she wakes up. Yeah. And she doesn't remember her day, nothing. That's my. You know what? Me, I'm like, like I'm tossing and turning. I can't get to bed. Finally, I get to bed, and now while I'm sleeping, I'm having these fucked up dreams. dreams. Me, you know what? And I'm, by the time I get up, I'm like, Jesus Christ. You know, the way you snap out of that is is through like a, like almost like a meditation you tell yourself before you go to sleep. It's like manifestation, like the words and, and yeah. shit like this, right? Yeah. And uh, yeah, you could snap out of it through that, but nobody really does that. Like they don't think they don't think about it. One, two, uh, you know, they find it hard to wrap their mind around that. Like, oh, how could a meditation help me not have those kind of dreams? Yeah, yeah. But yeah. it's really like planting the seed yeah, in your yeah. subconscious before yeah, yeah. you go to sleep. Yeah, 
It also yeah, works see, like I believe in it. Yeah. Yeah, I believe, yeah, I in, believe in that too, definitely. Because you could even like manifest a shitty day that way. Like if yeah, you go to absolutely. sleep pissed off about something and you don't snap out of that before yeah. you wake up. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. next day you could have it's a totally up to you. Up day. Yeah, yeah, it's up yeah. to you up how to you want to be. Yeah, you know and you mean? could rewire your whole shit. True. You know. Yeah. On that. True. I feel like I lucid dream myself and uh, I I have I have been enjoying the odd dreams, yeah. the strange dreams, yeah, like trippy. Because I know I'm in a dream, and I'm like, all right, well, let's see where this goes. You have know. you ever fell off the flat Earth? No, that, I would be not scary. yet. No, not not mm -hmm. no no concerns of ever falling off the edge. It'll never <laughs> happen. All right. <laughs> right next. We got Marcel Garcia up in here saying shout to the whole crew. Wanted to say happy birth month to Steph Tone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Happy, happy birth month, Steph Tone. Right. I mean, it is the month that you were born in. Yeah, man. Right. Throw that Fuck graphic up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do it. But it's not your day. Yeah. Your, no, day, your day passed. No, my day has passed. No, day has passed. Just Long since but you're still celebrating, right? Yeah. No. He's he's celebrating for those who have not hit their day yet. <laughs> yeah, you know, in the same month. Well, mine's in coming up, month. so yeah, you can still celebrate oh, for me. Yeah, yeah it's cool. your mine's birthday month. Up. Yeah, it's my birthday month. No, it ain't. <laughs> it's the day, month I was born. <laughs> that, days. That's my boy. Yeah, that it sure as hell is. I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> and Marcel Garcia's back up in here again, saying, "I also wanted to say, Cali Blaze." What do you mean? Ah. Everybody's going at me today with the birthday month. Yeah. What do you Just mean? Breaking balls. They're going yeah, they at love you. it, man. Yeah. Uh, and I see. Uh, it is what thank it you, is. man. Oh. Yeah. It is what, what it I is. do. We love you, bro. <laughs> what I do. <laughs> what I do. Huh? Everything. We got Everything. <laughs> I True. I do what, what I ask do. for. What I do, huh? On the regular. What the fuck I do? It's the thing. It's the thing. It's the fucking thing. It's the fucking thing. What what I do? And we break, got day breaking night. balls is the best. I mean, if, yeah. if you could just break balls all day long. That's what I do. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much you're really good at it. I mean, if, you're playing, a, if yeah. you're playing dominoes all day, you break oh. the ball. Oh, yeah. Woo! It's the boomerang. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and we got day night dash night back up in here again saying 10 flips and fix my Discord permission. Pretty please. I'm not allowed for camera or microphone. Yo, I used to have this ability. No, you... we, we never did. I think you have to go in. He has a new uh, account, so I think he has to go into his phone settings Help him out, and turn man. on the microphone and camera. I'll yeah. do a 10-piece with him. Preferences do and settings. Do it. Yeah, what, 10? It Just do with you. Yeah, with he's you about with. to do them right He's got to no. I would do up the that, server, yo. That's what you got to do. do. He's our in-house champ yeah. right now. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to get in his way. Yeah, yeah. we're not We're not oh, trying to get his... Honoring his no. request. He's honoring his request. Yeah, 100 and he bucks, is, he just paid for that. And he is the in-house <laughs> champ. He's done 200 of these flips. 205. 205. 205 flips in a two-hour setting. Yes, he has. And it was within the first hour and a half, though, so... That's my bro. I mean, is that, is that good for you? Or oh, how I mean, I mean, it's not it's bad not for bad you. you. There you okay. go. I, like I don't know if it's, it's good for you, but it's not bad for you. I mean, is it's it like, is it carte blanche or at some point we're killing brain cells? It's like macro dosing. <laughs> well, he definitely blew out some or, throat cells. Or does it not matter? Does it not matter? Can we do? No, I don't think. Can we so. do a hundred, two, three hundred of these things? When you today? think about how much weed we've yeah. smoked throughout the years and how we function now, pretty high, high yeah. level of functionality. We have not lost Holy a step. Function. I don't think so. Um, no. Yeah, no, I don't think. Um, did it but I'm not doing two hundred of these things <laughs> either. <laughs> well, <laughs> when you, when you, yes, that's, that's, ex that's extreme. Let's that's extreme. Clear. Let's be very clear. It's just to say that he can do it. Yeah, um, do. Right. No, no, so I, he's I, doing I'm, the... I'm backing it up. So By the way, are we getting him on here or am I waiting, Colton? What do you mean? No, I love you it. You know what I mean? Do we fix his Discord? No, go yeah. for it. Yeah, we just go for it. Yeah, because okay. he's got to fix his... Poor guy. His do it, bro. And just so anyone knows, if you're in the Discord and you can't get your camera on or can't get your mic, it's got to be on your end because we don't yeah. disable people's videos in yeah, the Discord. Bro. Yeah, just letting everyone know. There's no reason to oh, unless to you, bro. It's your fault, bro. Unless it's you're, all you. Unless you're doing cocaine on the camera. <laughs> or <laughs> having <cocaine>. sex. <laughs> or, or, or having sex. Oh, with sexual uh, relations. Yeah, baby. <laughs> or activities. And we got Marbell back up in here saying, Yo, Bolton, at least B took me to Disneyland. Oh. What's up with that, Be Real? Oh, yeah. damn. Yeah, you can take me and E-Zone to Disneyland someday. <laughs> uh, someday. Someday. Wait, was that one? 
one is one. That's one, yeah, one. Yeah, each, each yeah. yeah, each turn so is a one. is a well, fifth. He's doing a ten piece. Okay. He's doing a ten piece. Okay. I don't know what number he's on. I he scoffs at ten. Yeah, that's this, six. Ten is nothing. <laughs> and what is a dozen? Is a dozen nothing? You go in and you rip yeah. a dozen. Bring well, it. If you're going I mean, ten, what's twelve, right? Exactly. <laughs> Might as well make it a baker's dozen. You know what I mean? Yeah. What's twelve? Fifteen. Fifteen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's done 205, so a baker's dozen is nothing. Yeah. To 15 goes to 20 quickly. Bring it. All right. For a real party, you'll bring two dozen. Party one, two, three. <laughs> and we got Todd Watson up in here asking, can I get a moment of ohms? Thank you all and much love. All right, so we're going to meditate for a <coughs> four okay. beats. Yes. Right? We'll we'll wait on Cali Blaze. Oh, go ahead. You no, 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 no. Oh, yeah, no, he doesn't. No, 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 you're a part of this. Oh, no, he's a get in. Nope. All right. Sorry. He hates yeah, doing it. Right, hey. yeah, I don't get a pass. All right. Go ahead. You and you need this. Yes. Yeah, and you need this. All right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, chill out, man. <clears throat> oh. 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 I feel good. good. I feel way better. I'm way, I feel so way sick. just feel chilling. Angry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm iry eye. My pussy still itches. <laughs> <laughs> I feel relaxed, but. <laughs> but Lenny, my Lenny Bruce over here. <laughs> it just itches so. Old itchy cunt over here. Itchy <laughs> <laughs> cunt. I'm not, I'm not a part I of see. it. Oh man, <laughs> I see. Oh shit! All right. <laughs> <laughs> Next. And we got Jason up in here saying, "High school in New York in the mid '90s was Cypress Hill, House of Pain, and Pantera shirts everywhere. Mm, it was such boy. an energetic time for music." Yes. Yeah, I'm on. Word up. Ja. He's not wrong. And we got Kelly up in here asking you guys, "Do you guys prefer Pepsi or Coke?" Uh, I mean, there's only one answer to this. Both. <laughs> I mean, was, we all agree it's Coca-Cola, right? I mean, there's no Pepsi, no yeah. Pepsi heads in here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, I took I the love challenge it. back in the day. I took the challenge, and uh, I picked Coke. Right. I mean, there's there's no there's no choice. There's no uh, contest. Yeah, like right. I don't I don't drink sodas anymore. Right. But when I did, it was I, a Coke. I, I, I mean, it was Coke. Yeah. Who, who? It's like Coke is like I your Pepsi. Does, Coke does, is like your main girl, but Pepsi's that other girl. Nah, hey, Pe Pepsi was the yeah. main. Pepsi's your my mistress. Mom. Nah. my Pe mom had more Pepsi than Coke. I think so. that says a Mexican lot about a person. The bastard, that's the old sugar. <laughs> you know, it did. But then when I started, you know, <laughs> discovering Coke on my own, Mexican Coke, bro. I mean, it they all used makes the old sense. Yeah. Cane sugar. No comparison. You know, you a can. lot yeah. of it. It all I makes sense. I love it. And a fuck ton of it. Coke in a in a bottle. Mm. Yeah. So good. Ooh, that's it. I mean, whenever I I'm I out of the country, I do it. I don't. I don't have them so much. Like, like rarely. It's it's mm. too sweet for me. But like every now and then, when I see uh, the one in the bottle, I'll take. I'll. I'll yeah. I, I might take one down. Uh, in a oh yeah, you're super thirsty, and you yeah. see one of those little bottles. Yeah, yeah. Man. they're both delicious. Ice cold. <laughs> that is that, true. See, I don't. I don't. Wine. I don't even want to see that shit, man. <laughs> It's don't come years. this way. Don't come this way with what? your fucking Pepsi. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Just say it, man. Say it. <laughs> no Coca Pepsi over here. <laughs> no, no, no. Give me a Pepsi. <laughs> All right, Sprite or Seven Up. Seven, seven, up. seven up. up. Yeah. 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 It's a no-brainer. Yeah. Right. Seven no Up has more of a lemony. It's better. It's just better. You oh. still, I used to love a Seven and Seven. Remember that? Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Oh, those are good. Remember that? It was a you good put a splash of lemon in the oh, seven yeah. and seven. Oh, yeah. It's a nice nice like drink. That? Yeah. Bars. There you go. All right, <laughs> next one. <laughs> and next up in here, we got Fernando saying, Babe, clean your bong. You know who you are. Oh, oh shit. Man. Clean that. Damn. Hey, look, when your girl is calling you out yeah. word. on cleaning your bong, you've been taking too many hits and... um. Not cleaning that. Shit. I don't know. Yeah. For me, I don't. I don't see a place for a bong in my. I don't my do it pad anymore. anymore. Yeah, like, I'm sorry. I just joints. don't have a bong. I haven't hit a bong in 20 years. Like for me, me, it's joints. Yeah. Give me uh, some joints. flour and some zigzags. 
Yeah. There you go. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I, you I know don't. What I, mean? I don't fuck with no bongs at my house at all. Yeah. No ever. way. Ever, ever? No yeah. fucking way. I used to though. We had a six foot red one. We called Lucifer. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. <laughs> oh, shit, you gotta have. Listen. You gotta have a name for your bong if yeah, it's a, a significant bong. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's I think right. you should. It's just Excalibur. Yeah. Oh. We've always named ours. You know what I'm saying? Excalibur, King Arthur. Yeah, yeah. Um, all the all the things. All the greats. Lucifer. Corky, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Salute to Corky, man. Corky Salute. Romano. <laughs> Many, <laughs> Many lungs got Corin, thrown in. Corey Nemec. Corey Nemec. Yeah. I just had to say it. Yeah. <laughs> nice. He's another hip hop head. Yeah. He he actually. He actually was one of the guys that actually kind of turned me on to the scene a little bit. Yeah. When yeah, I was, he was super on. young, he was. I used to hang with him. Yeah. He was, sure. he, he was yeah, he's a cool dude, man. A little bit older than I was and uh he was definitely one of the guys that I started to like uh relate to and kind of make myself over in a way, you know, yeah. as as I kind of grew. Yeah. And he was like one of the one that's ones that really showed me the whole like music culture and everything around it you know yeah. what was this show parker lewis yeah right? parker lewis can't lose yeah naughty by nature shouted them out yeah he's shouted uh, him out yeah he's a he's a real and he still works he's a really uh really talented actor oh yeah yeah for sure corn yeah joseph corn he was doing some, brother he was doing some webisodes with uh faustino yeah. a while back yeah hilarious yeah they were good yeah oh yeah bolton and we got Smug234 up here with the last Super Chat saying, question for Bolt. Have you skated with Scott Oster? Best style <laughs> ever. <laughs> yeah, I have. Scott. Yeah. I Scott, ain't heard that Scott. Name in a Yeah, long but you know, time. Scott married my sister. Really? Yeah. Wow. They have two kids. Wow. They are family. Yeah. <laughs> so we sort of joke. We're like, Uncle Scott. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. Wow. Um, but yeah, Uncle so that's Scott. that's that's family, yeah. <laughs> right oh, yeah. Right Hell yeah. Word up, oh, man. Hey, it was great having you on Word. and uh, sitting at the table with us. You got to come back, and uh, next time we slap some bones on the table. Yeah. Yeah. If you're, I, I dropped a song today, so if you follow me, it's at, at Balt Getty, everything, B-A-L-T-G-T-T-Y. And, um, yeah, I put out a song today, and we're putting out a bunch of stuff, so. Word up. Check it out. Oh. Any shout outs you want to give? Um, no, I just shout you guys out, man. Appreciate you guys and be real. Such an OG, man. Always always such a down to earth guy. So thanks, uh thanks for letting me come by and chop it up, man. Oh man, thanks for coming through, man. C minus, you got shout outs. Uh just thanks everyone that's been uh, hanging with me in the mornings on Twitch for the morning mixes and who's bought a shirt at DJCminus.com. Thank you so much. And everyone that hangs with us here, B Blaze. Steph Tone, Balt, pleasure, uh, ha you know, having you on. Uh, everyone in the Trias crew, uh, Dom, Ray, and of course Colton, Aton, Dro, everyone in the Kitchen Sink crew, and the Insane Asylum, the 5150s. Appreciate everyone, and we'll see you in the mix. Thank you. Treehouse Shout out the Insane Asylum. Thank you guys so much. Don't forget to pick up that Nomad Funky Drop, dropping at 420, coming in the classic size. And also 30% off Dr. Green Thumb's LAX. When checking out, ask your bud tender for 30% off, and they will hook you up. What's up, Bobo? I will say catch me on the socials. Are <laughs> <laughs> you napping? No, no, no. I, I, I'm, I'm chatting over here, man. Don't don't, don't trip. Uh, catch me on the socials on Twitter at Eric Bobo, on IG at Eric underscore Bobo, also on Discord, Bobo's Corner. Uh, thanks to Baltasar for coming through and Appreciate blessing it. us. And uh, big ups to uh, Team Iconers out there. And uh, me and Snacks, we thank y'all for your support. Yeah. Steph Tone. Yo, what up? want to shout out to uh, Mark Sargent, Karen B, David Weiss, All Things FE. Shout out to you, Kelly Blaze, B, C minus, Baltazar. Nice to meet you, man. Uh, shout out to Bolton. You did it again, man. Uh, <laughs> Ray Ray, Morning Shot Films, new playthroughs out. Uh, El Merle, shout out to uh, The Dominator. Yeah. And uh, everybody out in the asylum, the 5150s, y'all have a great weekend. Uh, all the Discorderlies, you too. And um, yes. uh, Strong Dot Family, if you want to get some uh, strong gear, 
Have a great weekend, everyone. God bless. Oh, shout out to my fiance, my whole crew that takes care of the company every day, man. I appreciate you guys. Much love. Shout out to the Insane Asylum, 5150s, everybody at the table. Baltazar, thanks for coming through, man. Good time. Uh, everybody up top. And uh, yeah, follow me on IG, Cali underscore Blaze, C A L I underscore B A L B L A I S E. Uh, have a great and safe weekend. See you guys on Monday. Thank you uh, for being a part of the vibe. Uh, each one, teach one. Tell your friends about us. The Dr. Green Thumb Show, Monday through Friday, 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on the start. We go live, all right? <coughs> uh, and once again, we appreciate you. Stay with love. Love is the key. No negativity. No no boof energy. Uh, get with us in the mix right after this on Twitch, all right? One. TV.